Hello everyone, welcome to a another stream. <clears throat> Excuse me, how's everyone doing? Everyone doing uh, okay? I'm uh, gonna be carrying on with uh, Terraria today. Is the is the plan? Uh, for those who watched the the last stream, we made great progress building a bunch of houses. The reason we're building houses, other than just because the houses look pretty, uh, was because uh, we really want the uh, Goblin Tinkerer. We kind of need the Goblin Tinkerer to, to move in, because uh, I need to be able to start uh, reforging uh, a bunch of my items. So, um, yeah, that's kind of the, the plan. We're going to hopefully get all of the... Uh, well, we are going to get... All, like, I guarantee it. We're going to get all of the uh, the houses done, uh, try and find the Goblin Tinkerer. Uh, but yeah, then, uh, as well, in the last stream, someone suggested about doing the, um, what's it called? Uh, the Old Ones Army, which is this really cool event, which I had never ever heard of, where it's kind of like a, like a tower defense event where there's like a crystal and then there's like waves of enemy that attack it. And I did a bit of research into it and I found out that there's three tiers to it. So the first tier, uh, I think you get uh, if you haven't defeated like Gollum, I think it is. And then the second tier you get it if you haven't defeated a mechanical boss. Or maybe it's the other way around. It might be the other way around. And then the third tier is if you've like done all of that. And so I didn't realize that I have skipped tier one and tier two. And now need to go straight to, to tier three. Which is going to be super duper difficult. Because you get these items like during the tiers. And apparently they really recommend doing each tier. So then you can collect these items and you get stronger and stuff. And uh, yeah, I am... Um, I haven't been doing any of that because I didn't know it was a thing. So I'm going to go straight into the most difficult tier and uh, trying to to, uh, to try and do that. So uh, that's why I want the Golden Tinkerer. Uh, there's also uh, a few other items I've been looking up which would uh, aid me uh, in my ability to, to do that. Uh, one of them is the Destroyer Emblem. And uh, I had an item very similar to it in my like old version uh, of the, the world. Um, but, um, uh, yeah, I couldn't find it. So I had, like, the mechanical glove, which is made from the Avenger emblem, but I want to make the Destroyer emblem now, and to do that I need to get a bunch of other emblems, uh, but it's quite good because to get them all you just basically need to keep defeating the Wall of Flesh, and there's a 1 in 4 chance of them being dropped, so, uh, the reason why the, uh, Wall of Flesh is in the, the thumbnail is because, uh, yeah, we are probably, uh, going to, to be doing that, so, um... Right then, that's the uh, that's the plan of uh, for today. Uh, I thought I'd kind of chat for a bit uh, before we start, just to allow everyone a chance to, to get in. We will be loading up the the world shortly. Uh, I had a few donations come through already during my chat. Oh, Molly's back in the chat. Oh, uh, Molly asked for another sock update. Why why every stream now do I need to show you all my socks? Right, what socks am I wearing? Oh, I got I got kind of odd socks on today. I got like um, they got they're like monsters. They're like mon monsters on the socks. Uh, I gotta kinda... Can you kinda see that? You see my... Let me do a... You see my sock? Yeah, there we go. They're my socks. There's your sock update, Molly. I hope you're happy. <laughs> oh, is this... I'm gonna be really conscious now in the days I'm streaming for like, which... Which socks am I going to, to be wear? Uh, <laughs> oh, Alex is here as well, by the way. Uh, oh, where is she? There she is. Uh, we just got back from a walk, so she's probably going to be uh, pretty tired for a while. So she'll sleep there for a bit, and then she'll randomly get really hyper, and then I'll probably let her out the, the room. So, uh, yeah. That's what's going to go on with Alex. Twaza is here. He just says, uh, how's your day been? Sorry I missed the, uh, the other stream. No worries about missing the stream. Uh, day's been going good uh, so far. Um, yeah, we had a pretty long walk with Alex down at the, the park. Uh, we're meant to only leave the house once a day. So uh, I think we're going to end up giving, like, Alex a, a longer walk. Just because we're like... I mean, I'm sure it would be fine if we walked our dog twice a day. <laughs> like, what's the difference between walking a dog with two short walks compared to one long walk? But, uh, yeah, I think we're we're going to kind of stick to the, the guidelines and uh, do one long walk a day. So we're going to walk around the, the park and stuff. But it's so weird because you're walking around and obviously you're meant to stay at least two metres uh, away from anyone. So we're there walking and everyone's walking the opposite direction. Then everyone's like crossing the street. You get really paranoid that like you're really smelly because like everyone's avoiding you. Everyone's doing what they should do but it's just it's just so weird that everyone's just like like no one wants to come near you. Especially when we have Alex because normally if we have Alex with us everyone just wants to run up and squeeze her little face and play with her ears and stuff just because she's so cute. <laughs> um, thank you to uh, Alex Awesome uh, as well as the uh, the Bengals uh, is back. Uh, on my way to work uh, have a, uh, a good day. Uh, I don't know whether you're gonna have any chance to to watch any of the uh, the stream at uh, at work. Um, if you do, then uh, 
hopefully I won't distract you and hopefully your job isn't uh, too uh, important. Uh, but yeah, thanks for, for dropping by just as I was starting. Uh, thank you to, uh, to Yoki Endo, uh, who says, uh, I enjoy your video. Uh, How is COVID-19 affecting you? I kind of just said that. Like, to be honest, we're, um, it's not affecting us massively. Uh, the big thing is kind of just not seeing friends and family for, for us. Uh, you know, we were very lucky that it's not really affecting our work too much uh, or anything. So, um, yeah, it's just we're going out a bit less. It's going to it's going to like start feeling a bit more difficult, I think, for everyone. Uh, for those of us in the West, at least that um, now it's getting sunnier. Like today was so it's, it's such a nice day. It's such a lovely day today. And normally like the park would be packed. Everyone would be out like people would be starting to to start feeling barbecue season arriving and stuff. But uh, yeah, I think it's going to kind of start getting more. Uh, difficult uh, as it starts to get a bit hotter and everyone kind of gets a bit stir crazy. Uh, but yeah, so far it's been um, pretty mild, pretty easy uh, for us so far. So um, yeah, kind of more thinking about, you know, the people that aren't in that situation and those that are, you know, working in hospitals and stuff. Like they're, they're the ones that have it tough. Like um, I, if I have to stay at home all day playing video games, that is a sacrifice I'm willing to make for the country. <laughs> so <laughs> it's uh, it's okay. Oh, hello, Jamie. Just saw you passing through with the, the chat. Um, hello to everyone. Uh, is Lovely World over? Uh, it's on hiatus for, for now on. Um, a few more donations still, uh, come through. Uh, Hiya is here, uh, who also says, sorry, I couldn't make your last stream. That's okay. Like, you don't have to make every stream. So one thing I found out is that, uh, the bots have, like, the longer I stream for, for, the more bots arrive. And I realized that in the past, I would schedule a stream. So I'd say, like, if I'm going to stream at four, I'd put maybe up at, like, noon that, oh, I'm streaming at four just to let people know that, oh, at four, I'm streaming. There's always people that jump onto it and be like, oh, we have to wait four hours, and they just sit there waiting. It's like, no, 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 I'm just telling you when it is. Come back in at that time. But I realize I probably shouldn't do that, because uh, if I do that, that might give a chance, because the chat's already live, for the bots to kind of show up early. So I'm going to be more like springing these streams on you now, just because um, <laughs> I don't want to announce too far in advance, just to give a, a chance for the uh, bots arriving. Uh, I'm watching from Japan, uh, Ta S says. Thank you uh, from watching all the way from uh, from Japan. Like, are you, um, did you live somewhere else and move to Japan? Or have you always lived, uh, uh, in Japan? Uh, cause yeah, I don't think there's a huge, uh, community of, like, English speakers in Japan. Like, I have almost nobody that watches my videos in Japan. You can always look through all of the, uh, the analytics and kinda, uh, see where everyone's watching from. And Japan's not very, very high up. I'm gonna try and keep an eye on the, the chat to see if I can see their, their reply. But the chat's going really, really fast right now. <laughs> go really fast. I do have a slow mode on. There's a, oh, there's 1,600 people here. That's why. Uh, if anyone sees their reply, let me know because I may have missed it. Um, but yeah, I was just uh, a little bit curious. Uh, thank you to, uh, to Lolbit, uh, as well as Row Gaming, uh, and Pewter City, uh, Cindy's, uh, and Cindy's sister. Thank you all very much. Right, should we, uh, should we get into the, the game? I think I've stalled, uh, for, for long enough. Uh, for uh, to to give a chance for enough people to to join in and have a chance to to see that I am streaming. Uh, so I kind of did just uh, explain this, but uh, we are preparing uh, to go up against the old ones army. I don't know if we're going to be doing the old ones army today. It will. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how uh, how things turn up. Uh, do the lunatic cultist? No, I'm not doing that yet. We will, because that will lead to all of the Lunar events and the Moon Lord and stuff. We are, we are not prepared for that. Uh, what class is your Stampy? Uh, what class is, what class are you Stampy? Sorry, uh, said Stormy. Um, I'm a mixture of every class. I'm very ineffective. Like my arm is mainly focused, but I use a lot of magic. Basically, I'm kind of like in the, like, I don't like locking into like one, one type of class because, um, I don't know, it just feels like a little bit restricting, even though that's like the smart way to, to do it. I can never, I can, I, I can never like, like choose for just one, one style. Right, let me zoom in a bit. Gotta go and set all of my quick selects that I have to do every time we start the, the game. Uh, but yeah, looking up online, apparently the Nimbus Rod uh, is actually pretty good uh, against these, um, these enemies, as well as the Influx Waver and the Razorblade Typhoon. So I may, I've actually just got like really, really lucky and kind of almost accidentally had a bunch of the like the right kind of gear that I would need uh, to do this event, uh, which is quite handy. Uh, but yeah, the first thing I wanted to do before we start uh, any of that stuff. Oh, why? Did I do this wrong? 
There we go. Uh, yeah, so the first thing I want to do is I need to finish off building these houses. So let me just show you, uh, for those of you that didn't uh, make it to the, the last stream, uh, I have been building uh, this thing uh, down here. So um, we have like a bunch of houses that all of my NPCs are moving into. They look cool. No one can say that these houses don't look cool. They're all a little bit mad. And uh, one of the uh, the ones that everyone was suggesting was to do a uh, to do a pumpkin house. No, not a pumpkin house. To do a um, honey. Honey, honey house, honey house, honey house. So I didn't realize to make honey blocks, you need to mix water with the honey to make it into a block. So I assumed I'd have a, a lot of honey blocks, uh, but I actually didn't. So uh, first things first today is we are gonna go and get some honey. Uh, so we can have enough to build, um, I think we can do honey walls, we can do honey blocks. Uh, we can do a bunch of like honey furniture uh, as well. So I guess, uh, I guess I need to make some buckets, right? This bucket's just made out of iron, I guess? Uh, and then, is it a crafting table? A workbench, sorry, I'd need. Or anvil. I guess I need to make it into to nuggets first. Alright, I've only got five. That's okay, because as we go down, there's going to be like a, um, a bunch of water down there anyway. Okay, so I've only, I've, I've only had enough to make one bucket. It's so funny because all of these like crazy overpowered things that I have, but I have like like hardly any iron or anything. Uh, right then, let's go and see if we can uh, we can find some. Uh, you should do a speed run. God, I'd be the worst to do a speed run. I think I might set a, set a record for the slowest, <laughs> the slowest run. Like if someone looks at from like when I started playing Terraria to when I, fingers crossed, uh, eventually uh, defeat the, the Moon Lord. I think I may be setting a record for the uh, the slowest playthrough of Terraria, let alone a speed run. <laughs> so luckily uh, I've actually found like a bunch of, um, of like the giant beehives under the, the ground anyway. So I can just go and make my way back to the, the ones that I've already uh, been to. Thank you to uh, to Cindy, uh, as well as uh, Alex and uh, Sonic Overdrive Gaming for your donations. Very generous. And uh, Haya as well says, uh, for now, uh, on after defending a boss, uh, you shall swing your swords uh, that are in the background. Oh, for the uh, oh, these ones. <laughs> I didn't realize you were talking about like, like in real life. Squishy was uh, was playing <laughs> with the swords of Alex <laughs> earlier. And like pretending to have like a sword fight with Alex and going like, yeah, 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 yeah. And Alex was just getting excited as she does and just jumping up and down. Well, while we're here, let's, uh, we do need some water. So let's just go and grab some of this. Is this just normal water like in this biome or is it like special water? Okay, I think it's just, uh, I think it's just normal water. We're okay. Uh, thank you as well to, to Super King who just says, hi Stampy, how's your day going? It's been going good, thank you. It's been, um... Yeah, just like probably most people's days uh, right about now. Pretty uneventful. Woke up. Uh, I played a bunch of Beat Saber this morning. Beat Saber is like a, a VR game where you kind of have like lightsabers and there's like notes coming towards you and you kind of like slice them all and stuff. So I was playing that. I was playing like there's like a a, a one arm mode, which is really difficult. It's like loads of notes and you're almost like fencing like, yeah, 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 yeah. And it really like tired me out this morning. And then I walked Alex. So... Considering I'm spending all of my time inside, I'm actually kind of like, I'm pretty getting more exercise now than I was like before the uh, the lockdown. All uh, right, so you see these like orangey patches? That is where we need to, to head down to in order to, to get them. Uh, thank you as well to, to Twaza. says, I didn't mean to, to start a daily update thing about the socks, I'm sorry. Uh, also, can we uh, see, why is it always like, it always gets cut off. Let me just get rid of one of these windows one second. Like it never like, it just cuts off the edge like for like the uh, the donations, it's really weird. Uh, so there, there, I'm sorry, uh, also can we see your cup of tea? By the way, it's 2 a.m. in uh, Australia right now, yikes, yikes. That is uh, too early for anyone to be awake. <laughs> 
Yeah, let me make this more. It's because I always try and make the uh, the chat bigger. And then it always messes up like the uh, the donation page as well. Right, we're arriving in close. Uh, well, got a uh, well, a huge donations come from uh, from Alpha YouTube. It says, hey Savvy, I've been watching you since your first playthrough of Terraria, and I've missed watching you play Terraria. Well, you should be more than happy because I have a, uh, I have now returned to what sounds like your your favourite game to to watch to to play and probably uh, play as well. Yeah, thank you so much for the the really generous donation. I do always get a bit nervous, but oh, here we go. This is what we're after. This is honey. All uh, right, so oh, apparently if this mixes with water, so if this all just goes down to this little water lake down here, is that just going to make a bunch of honey blocks? I think it should do. Aha, it is. So if I, if I just keep mining this as it goes down, then I should be able to keep getting honey. And look, there's more water down here as well. If this all just keeps mixing, we should be able to get like a whole bunch of, uh, of honey blocks from that. Are these honey blocks as well? Uh, they are. Perfect. Actually, you know what? There might be an easier way to do this. I'm looking on the uh, the little mini map on the on the top right. And oh, there's a Pontera bolt there. Let's be careful. Uh, yeah, I'm looking at that on the top right. It looks like there's a whole bunch of water like up above it. So if I can like dig through that water and get it to to go down. Uh, who am I battling? Someone asked. Uh, I'm going to be uh, well. I'm preparing to to go after the uh, the old ones army kind of my plan. Look, if I dig up here, it's going to make a whole bunch of honey come down, and then look, we get all of this water to come down, we're just going to get honey blocks all over the place. Oh, there's like a whole lake of it down here. I kind of want to, like, build a cross. Like, fill this area in, because I'm, I'm, like, losing a bunch of it down here. There you go. If I get more of this water to fall down now... Like, I don't need loads. I just need enough to do, like, all of the walls. And then, like, like the, like, like the, like the background walls. And then the wall walls. Like, the, the side walls. Uh, and then also to do, um, like, all of the, the furniture and stuff. I just want to make sure I get it all now. So I don't end up running out and then having to, to come back here. Uh, bruh, old ones army are easy. I built it, uh, beat it with wood stuff. Yeah, I don't think that's true. I think you might be a little bit fibbing there. <laughs> like, looking up online, like, everyone says about, like, how difficult this thing is. Especially as I'm going straight into to tier 3. After not knowing <laughs> that there were other tiers. <laughs> and that I should have done tier 1 or 2 first. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it wasn't in the, the game, like, the last time I played it. I certainly don't remember, like, hearing anyone talking about it or anything. Like, I'm pretty sure it's the sort of thing that I would have done if I had known about it back then. Right, get all the honey to fall down into this water. This is a pretty, uh, pretty effective way to, to do this. I love the way I came down here with my one little bucket of water. Like, gotta get the honey, and then I'm just <laughs> getting all of this from this, like, lake here. <laughs> Much more effective. Right, is that gonna be enough? Uh, 200 I might just get a little bit more while we're down here, just in case. And so there's another, like, bit of water up here we can go and bring down. Oh, it's quite a lot of water, actually. Right, where's all this water going? Where am I making a mess? Okay, that's like filled up all of this lake here. There we go. But if I get this water down to that lake down there to the left, then I'll be able to get loads. Uh, Hiya says sorry I meant killing a boss. Oh yeah, no, I I understood what you I understood what you realised. I should realise that first when you were talking about like the swords that you were talking about like the the real life swords. <laughs> I thought you were talking about like in game swords or, or something. Uh, hello Joseph Ramirez says I just got back from uh, homework. Uh, what did I miss? Uh, you missed me jumping around and floundering in a bunch of honey. <laughs> so whether that's what you want to see or not, I don't know uh, how much you uh, how much you missed out on. But I've almost got enough now, so we'll go back in. 
I, I think this might be the final house. So all of this, for those that are just joining, is to, um, for now, is I'm trying to make a home for the Goblin Tinkerer, which I'm going to desperately need in order to, to reforge my items. So basically, I want to build the house and have no one move in, because that means all of the NPCs that could have moved in uh, will um, already have. Now, I'm hoping I build this house and no one moves in, because then I can start keeping an eye out for the, uh, the Goblin Tinkerer. And to be fair, coming down in these caves is a good idea anyway. Uh, because uh, I have defeated the um, the goblin army, uh, so I could run into the uh, the goblin tinkerer basically at any point uh, while I'm down like in these caverns. Uh, right, let's uh, let's go back. Uh, let's go back home then. Let's go and use the uh, the magic mirror. I've probably made a complete mess of my inventory as I always do. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's go and um, tell you what, let's just use these blocks and go and build the walls first, and then I know I won't accidentally make too many walls. Let's tell her I'll make the um. Um, I do the walls and then the uh, the furniture, like as in the side walls and the furniture, and then I'll do the background wall. Because I always have a habit of making way, way too many background walls and then running out of what I need. And oh wait, that's not high enough. So let's try and do this in a, a better way. I've got quite efficient at building these these buildings quite quick after the uh, the last stream where I did a whole bunch of them. <laughs> Uh, hello to uh, to Twister Bro, uh, who's joined the, the stream, as well as JoJo's mini vlogs. Says I love your vids. I've been watching them for for three years. Thank you as well to, to Ryan Lightheart, who's joined in with a uh, very generous ten dollars donation. Says uh, hi, I've been a fan uh, ever since you made that mini golf course in your lovely world. Uh, but do you remember when you were crushed by an anvil in one of the adventure maps? I do. Well, there's been there's been several times of that. I know I've done it a whole bunch of times with uh, with Squid, where we've just done like gone out our, our way for ages to do it. And the honey's making me really slow. Look how slow I'm like slodging my way through. This is me holding full speed to the side. <laughs> it's <laughs> I, mean, I wonder if this would be good for like slowing down enemies. Is there like is there is that like an actual good like known strategy for like slowing down enemies? And oh, can I not make can I not make a honey workbench? Let me go down to. Oh, let me let me try and make my way out of here. Let me go to one of the other workbenches, and let me see. Let me see what I uh, what I need to to make it right. Who's got a Who's got a workbench? I think this is a workbench down here. Oh, where's where's all of the honey furniture? Do I need to add it into to something else? Let me just search like Terraria honey chair, I guess. Honey furniture, right. Oh, oh, there's weird stuff I need to, to add to it. Oh, I need to use a honey dispenser? Ah, SS Naz Y Cat Cole just told me. You need to use a honey dispenser. Right, okay. How do I make a honey dispenser then? I love these chains you got in Terraria. It's like, ah, you want to make... The this, and then you need this to make this, but to make that you need two of these, and you combine these to make that to make that. You just go down these endless trails of just like having ten wiki tabs open trying to find. That's what I was literally doing before I started the stream, trying to work out all of this stuff. Right, honey dispenser. The honey dispenser is a crafting station that is used to craft furniture out of honey blocks. It can be found in ivy chests in the underground jungle. Right, okay. So I need to go into ivy. What, what does an ivy chest look like? I mean, I guess it's got green ivy on, but let me just have a look at it so I can see exactly what I'm looking out for. Oh, actually, it doesn't even look... It looks kind of just like a wooden chest. What do you reckon the chances are that I've already got a honey dispenser? Do you reckon I've already got one from somewhere? I'm really running out of room in that place. Like, how often am I, am I going to need a honey dispenser? It looks almost like a throne. Right, I don't think I'm going to have one. Right, looks like we're looks like we're going back. <laughs> so can I dump any stuff in this chest here? Oh, there's not much room in it. Maybe dump some of this stuff in. Just clear up my inventory just a little bit. This is my just dump stuff in for now. Build a new one? I don't think you can build them. Like, according to this, it's... Uh... Yeah, I just need to go to an underground jungle. I basically just need to go back right back to where I was. <laughs> to be fair. 
Are you an anti-vax person? Raph says, no, absolutely not. I listen to science and logic. <laughs> it's so funny, like, because you get so many of, like, the same sort of questions and stuff when you're doing a live stream. And suddenly you get, like, a question. It's like, whoa, that's something I've never been asked before or expected to get asked in the live stream. <laughs> Uh, can you lower the music? Uh, I can. Yeah, sorry if it's too loud. Uh, is that a bit better for you? Uh, you can make walls out of honey. You can. But I need the, um... Yeah, there's loads of honey. I can make honey bathtubs, honey beds. Uh, oh, you can make honey bro Oh, no, no, no. You can make honey platforms out of honey blocks. Honey lanterns, honey sinks, honey sofas. Basically all of the uh, the standard stuff. Right, is this where I want to go down? Okay, yeah, so underground jungle. It's basically going to be right around where I was with all of this other honey stuff. Okay, guys, I need you all to be like... No trolling here. If I go past one and miss it, which which might happen, I need you all to help me out. So we're not looking for a chest like that. It looks like um, I don't know, almost more like a jungle wood chest. But if I go, if I miss it, I need you all to like spam in the chat and let me know. There's a very good chance I'll miss it, because that's kind of what I do. <laughs> Maybe is is there a uh, is there a chest emote on YouTube or like a like a box <laughs> that you can all spam to get my attention? <laughs> Ooh, I should probably grab this uh heart statue as well. Also, we're gonna keep an eye out for a uh, a bound goblin as well. I'm not sure. It says you find them in the cavern layer. I'm not sure whether, like, that can include an underground jungle or not. But I might as well keep it up. Oh, the little cat box! Perfect. Right. I didn't, I didn't miss one, though, right? I didn't miss one. You're trolling, right? I didn't miss one. Chest? Did I miss one? I don't... I, I, think, I think that's it. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's the emote to use. Do it when I actually see one. Hopefully I didn't actually see one. Well, there's so many of these Pontera bulbs all over the place now. Kinda, I can't be like just mindlessly, uh, mindlessly looking. Uh, Cavern Lair is horizontal across the, the world. I oh, thank you, uh, Avantor. Like is that is it is it like how near the top is it the uh, the cavern layer? Yeah, I might turn to look that up because that will probably be what we're gonna work towards once I finish building the rest of these houses. Uh, and then I need to prepare an area. So we're well, the thing the battle that we are preparing for the the main one is the um the, was it the old oh, the old one's army or whatever it's called you know the one. And apparently you just need to, to... You can't really have any structures there for tier 3. So you need to have like a, a big... Um, like open area. So I'm going to need to like flatten a, a giant big area. Uh, and then put maybe some bonfires there. Some heart lanterns and stuff. Maybe some of the, uh, the star ones as well. Uh, there was an ivy chest where you created the honey. Oh, really? I probably just didn't even bother looking at it. I mean, there's going to be loads of them. And there's not even a chance for me to always find one. Some more honey here. I will keep an eye out. I missed one? See, I don't... <laughs> the problem is, is everyone always, like, tries to prank me and stuff. Was there actually one? What, down here? 
Where? Yeah, I, I, just, I knew, I knew I should have never said for you guys to do that. Because I don't, I have no idea whether you're joking or not. Because so much of like, the chat's effort is to like, try and confuse me or like, pretend my audio is not working and stuff. And so I've just given you the, the ammunition. Like, there might have been one there, but I just, it's like the boy who cr cried wolf. There wasn't one? Trolled, not trolling. <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. Uh, so everyone is just joining the stream now. The Oh, oh, here's one, there's one. In a little house. Right, is there going to be the, the honey dispenser in it? Fingers crossed. No! I'm going to take the... Uh, Take the chest anyway. One to like mark that it's been uh, it's been done. What was the uh, what was the rate for for getting one? Uh, they can be found in ivy chest and underground. Oh, I don't, I can't see what the uh, like the percentage rate is for for finding one of them. Uh, thank you to to Galen uh, Wadsworth says. Did you see my ocean den recreation on Twitter? I don't think I did see your ocean den recreation on Twitter. So, um, yeah, maybe send that again. Thank you as well to, uh, to Kai Bristow. Oh, joking, guys. I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. I saw there was one here. I was pretending to not see it just because I wanted to see all the little boxes in the, the chat. <laughs> I wanted to pretend I didn't I didn't spot this one. Uh, oh, there's no one in it anyway. That's sad, right? Let's just I don't know, maybe put some torches around it to mark I've seen it. Kind of running out of inventory just to, to grab everything. People saying in the tower. <laughs> oh, we got like to. Oh, this is what's what's this thing? This isn't linked with anything up there. What's this place? That's not my main dungeon, is it? No. Oh, this is the, um... This is the jungle temple, isn't it? Ah! I think this is... Is this the first time I've found the jungle temple? Oh, no, no, because that's it down there, linked up. I've just, like, arrived at a new, like, top area of it. That's cool. I mean, I kind of don't want to go in there now, because I've already, uh, already been there. You get the honey dispenser from the queen bee. I don't think you do. It's on the, the official thing. It says honey dispensers, a crafting station, used to craft furniture. Uh, it can be found in ivy chests in the underground. So, I mean, maybe, like, the queen bee drops it as well. But it would be weird that it, like, doesn't say that. Uh, read this, Stampy. Let's see how quickly Stampy uh, receives these. Re oh, receives these. There's not too much of a, of a delay. Uh, are you preparing for the lunatic cultist? Kinda, like that's the, uh, that's kind of like the, the long-term goal. Uh, but for now we're going for like the, uh, the old one's army. Is the, the next like big event that I want to, to try and do. So that's what uh, I'm working towards right now. Kind of like linking back to an area that I've been before. But that's okay because, um, like, I probably wasn't bothering to, like, look inside all of the, the chests before. There's a truffle worm there. Oh, it's gone. I don't have a bug net anyway. I don't even need truffle worms anymore, but they were so hard to get when I was like looking for one. Can't help but get like excited every time I see one. Oh, there's a house here. Is there one of the chests in here? No, just a bunch of things that are trying to eat me. Alright, there's one of those big like honey areas over there to the, the right.
Oh, here's one, here's one, here's one. I see one. Oh, there's two. Oh, there's two, there's two, there's two, there's two. Come on, there's got to be in one of these. Surely in one of these. <sighs> Not in this one. Right. We have another chance, though. They do seem to be maybe more of them, unless it's just coincidence, like, around... Like, these, like, honey areas. No, there's no one here either. I might grab this suspicious looking eye, but that's annoying. Uh, what are you looking for? Uh, it's like a honey dispenser. It's, um, so it's basically a thing that I need to craft, like, uh, all of, like, the, the honey furniture. And I did not realize when I started. I knew I wanted to build out the honey, but I didn't know I needed this weird thing. So I am on a, a hunt to try and track one down now. Thank you to, uh, to Owen. He says, hey, Stampy, uh, I was in the last stream. Uh, I just joined. What is going on? So uh, I kind of just explained. So I, I was, I was going to try and... The goblin is approaching from the west. Uh, yeah, I was trying to... um. To build like a, a house out of honey. But then I realized I didn't have the thing I needed to craft. Why do they have so many like different like crafting stations in Terraria? There's so many of them. <laughs> yeah, so we're looking for, so it spawns in ivy chests. So we're on the on the hunt for ivy chest right now. Uh, I've already defeated the uh, the goblin army, so I don't need to to battle that again. It's also just like just like ridiculously easy right now like the goblins are so so weak compared to like all of the stuff i have now it's like almost like not even worth it oh is that one? Oh, there's another one we've got another chance i'm gonna be really careful with digging here because if i if i destroy that bulb then plantera is gonna show up and that could uh that could ruin my day quite quickly no i've got a bit of gold this is better than the things i found in the other chest but Still not great. Are there any um, are any more chests in this little bit down here? Uh, what's the old ones army? So basically, it's, it's it's almost like a like a tower defense like thing. Why can't I get through this door? Why is why won't this open? All right, let's just dig through the the door. Yeah. So basically, like you put like a crystal down. And then there's like waves of um, enemies will like continue. I found the Mount Goblin! Yes! Yes! Oh, okay. I don't want anything to kill it. Uh, looking for gadgets and stuff. Uh, oh, perfect. Perfect. So now, now I've spoke to him. He should arrive back to the house as long as I have a home for him to live in, right? I think that's the way it works. Yes, because you know what? That was the part I was dreading. Like building the houses, I thought it was going to be fine. I didn't know we we're going to have this these honey issues. But that was the, the the part that I was really like worried about. I was like, man, I don't want to be wandering the caves for too long just trying to find a goblin thingy. But uh, yeah, now I've got him. That's pretty lucky. What should I do? I'm going to leave up to a vote. Do you want me just to go home, build the house out of something else? Or are we going to commit to the, the honey and going to um, keep looking for the honey? So uh, you need to, in the... <laughs> in the chat, you even need to say honey or nah. So just N N A H. So honey or nah <laughs> for whether you want me to keep looking for this honey dispenser thing or not. I am happy with either. So honey or nah, chat please. Honey or nah. Or oh, tell you what, there is another chest here. Could save some time if I can just find it from here anyway. No, okay, it's not here, right? Honey or nah? Uh, 
God, why are they always so split? Why is it always so even? I need like a proper, a proper like voting thing. Okay, I think there's slightly more Naz than there are honeys. So I tell you what, here's a compromise to hope you make everyone happy. So what about I do Nah for now, we build it out of something else, but outside the stream, I can carry on looking for this uh, the honey dispenser and we can build a, uh, a future house out of honey. But that's fair, right? That's fair enough, fair enough. I am agreeing with myself <laughs> that that is fair enough. So the next question becomes, what do we build the uh, the house out of considering we are not going to be building it out of honey anymore. So we need suggestions for, for what to, to build it out of. Goblins, can you just not please? Can you just can you all just leave? Honestly, it's so easy now to, to do the uh, the goblin army. <laughs> Everyone's saying honey now. <laughs> Let me just search like terraria furniture and see like what what different types we have. It'd be good to be able to build like the walls and stuff out of it as well, while I just one-handedly defeat the uh, the goblin army at the same time. They're taking all my doors off. It's not fair. Uh, or crystal chair, granite, spooky chair. What's the, uh, what's the crystal stuff? How do you make crystal blocks? Uh, crystal blocks made from, uh, from crystal shards and stone blocks. And all you need is the, uh, the forges in order to, to do them. Do I have a place with, like, loads of crystals yet? Is it, is it, is it down here? Yeah, here's all the crystal. We can choose, what about crystals? Can we have a crystals or nah, please, in the chat? Crystals or nah? <laughs> do we uh, do we commit to go for the crystals? <laughs> it looks really cool, to be fair. It's kind of like all like bluey and purpley and red. God, look at all this money! Look at all the money! Okay, it seems to be slightly more on the uh, the side of the uh, the crystals than the than the Naz. <laughs> so I think uh, I'm gonna take the executive decision and say we're gonna go we're gonna go crystals we're gonna go crystals because at least like the difference between the crystals and the yeah Goblin has been defeated whoa what a heroic battle yeah the difference between the uh, the crystals and the the honeys the honey thing is random. Like, I'll just be looking in the chest and I might, I might not find one. The crystals, I can just go to the place where the crystals are and I can just get enough crystals and it'll just be done. So, it's going to be much easier for, for me to, to do. And something different. Uh, and I, I build out of um, honey stuff, I think, in my other world. And I've never, I've never built out of crystals before. Honey crystals, someone say. <laughs> Do you want a quick update on Alex sleeping? Oh, okay. <laughs> there she is. Sleep. She uh, she does have a head. I know it looks like she... Oh, can I like... Can I line something up to make it look like her head? <laughs> I'm trying to think if I had a little toy or something that I could like... Because it looks like... It just looks like she's headless right now. I do. Oh no, she moved! She ruined it! Oh, I was gonna try and make Lucio for her head. It really just looked like she was headless, didn't it? Uh, right, I think I just get the crystals from like... Down here good enough? Yeah, should just be down here. Oh yeah, I'm meant to go... To this corner, aren't I? So I don't block everything for you. So, oh, are these, oh, are these not the crystals? 
Oh, am I in the wrong place? For the, uh, the crystals? Do the crystals not spawn in the hallowed, or am I? Ah, oh, here's here are crystals. Are these crystals? There you go. Crystal shard. Is that is that what I need? Yeah, crystal shards. Okay, okay. We are in the the right place. Oh, my chat has completely frozen for some reason. One second. Let me just uh, reset it. See if I can get you get you going again. Hmm. Right, hopefully I'm uh, still streaming right now, but I cannot see anything. Let me refresh this whole thing. Okay, YouTube's just come up saying, oops, something went wrong. I may be talking to myself right now, or you may be able to hear me. I have no idea. I'm just trying to re reset it again. <laughs> Good old YouTube. Reliable as ever. Is my internet gone? No, my internet's working. Uh, I, guess I, let me, I guess I could go and look in a different browser and try and look up my own stream to see if I'm streaming. Oh, it says I'm live right now. Is it actually working? Oh yeah, it is. I'm live. I think. I am. Okay, like my... <laughs> my whole thing's just... I've just got a completely black screen. I believe you can still see me now. So I will... I guess I'll just carry on until YouTube wakes up. You always know there is going to be some sort of tech tech trouble. You never know exactly what it is. And that's what's exciting. That's what gets me up in the morning. Keeps me on my toes. In which way is my stream going to break today? You know, you never know what it is. You can never predict it. Sometimes it's the bots. Sometimes it will just start lagging for some reason. Sometimes it will just completely break like today. You never know. It's exciting. Who knows in what exotic way my, my stream is going to break next. <laughs> yeah, literally, so my screen right now just says YouTube Studio, and it's just black, and then there's just like a red bar going whoom, whoom across the screen, is all I can see. So I don't know how many people are watching, I can't see the chat, I can't see the quality of the stream, I can't see if I am actually definitely still streaming, or whether it's gone off or not. My internet's fine though, my internet, like on other sites and like checking it back was fine. Quite bizarre. Can I refresh this again? I'm just getting so paranoid that like the stream's just completely gone off now and you can't see it. I just don't know. Let me go look again. Like when I'm signed into a different account. And let me see if the chat's still going for you. Because the chat might have just like gone for everyone. Right. Stampy. Terraria. Preparing for battle live. It, st it still says I'm live. Am I actually? I think I am. Oh, but I Okay, but I think the chat's not working, right? Is that where we're at? I, I think that I think the stream's still still working, but the chat's frozen, and I can't see anything. I think YouTube's having a bit of a, a bit of a hiccup. Um. Shall I, shall I just end the, the stream and just like start a new stream, do you reckon? I wonder if that will, uh, that will solve the, the problem. We'll give it a go, we'll give it a go. Right, the, uh, the stream is probably going to end now, but if it does, it will be starting again straight away.
See, if I just click to go on my own stream or signed in. This is so weird. It just like for no, I didn't even touch anything. It just went. Right, go live. See, I, d I don't know if this is even going to work. Because I can't even say to, like, end the stream. Because I can't go to the stream page to end the stream. So I've just said to start a new live stream. And it's just doing the loading thing again. But I think it's just going to get all confused. Because it's going to be like, start stream. But you are streaming. But we can't get to that page. I think it's just going to get, like, all confused and muddled with itself. Okay, let me just uh, end the stream from OBS and I'll try and uh, start it again and see, see if we can get this, uh, get this sorted. back as you can see the uh camera's not quite there yet lots of fun technical why is that messing up now <laughs> uh well let me see on the gameplay hey <laughs> it's not easy being green um right let me switch to a different camera and then back to it uh, don't if i just go to the gameplay then back to it Okay, well, you guys should at least be able to hear me. <laughs> um, yeah. Camera is obviously not working. Uh, let me, I'm just going to unplug it and plug it back in. I'll do it. That tends to... Right. Which, which plug? So if you follow it, so it's got the, see the cam link thing? See, right, right down the bottom. Uh -huh. It's like an Elgato cam yeah. link, so that USB. Unplug it. Right, can you all hear me though, yeah? Can you all hear me? Oh, it's gone black. Right, let me just go to, uh... actually, I'll leave it on this. It's all right. Oh, it's hot. Back here. It might kick on the camera any second. Hopefully it does. Uh, we can hear you. Good. Should I turn it off and on? That's half the trouble. Uh, yeah, turn the camera off and on. 
Let's see, I can, I can go to a, I can go to gameplay. So I've been carrying on playing. So yeah, for those that weren't here earlier and then just super <laughs> confused about what's happening, uh, YouTube broke. So it was the whole site. It wasn't like just my channel. Just YouTube messed up in like uh, a whole bunch of different ways. Um, oh, is the camera still not working? It's okay, I'll fix it, I'll fix it. You carry right. on. Squishy's on it. Yeah, so basically it was like, even if I went to like look at my, my videos, I couldn't see whether they were public or anything. Uh, it was just a big problem. I even tried just starting a new stream, like on my second channel using a different browser, like a complete reset and that didn't work either. So um, yeah, I kind of waited for a while and then uh, tried it out and it seems to have uh, have been fixed. The problem with the cameras on my end, nothing to do with YouTube. I don't know why <laughs> why that's messing up now <laughs> all of a sudden, but Squishy is unplugging and plugging things back in again. So right, let me see, is this working now? It did to wait, me. Wait. <laughs> hey! Oh no! Oh, it's working! <laughs> Alex is like, ah, the camera's back on. Let me get my good side, which is apparently this. <laughs> <laughs> That's her good side. <laughs> Here she is. Here she is. She's been sleeping in the background of the stream for I so have, long. Yeah, no, I have. Yeah. She's been yeah. sleeping. She's sleeping in the background of video. Mm, yeah. Her face. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> 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 All right. So, um, we, I guess we can just uh, we can just carry on. Like I was kind of like um accepting that okay maybe streaming's done for today but seeing as like we can carry on so basically i couldn't get back to so there's like your dashboard view of the stream and i couldn't get back to to that view uh which is where i would go to end stream so even though like i stopped streaming and like literally quit my streaming software youtube just the whole time thought i was still streaming but because i couldn't get because uh, like, she's licking my ear because i couldn't get back to that stream why are you wearing a robe? Says uh, um, so. This is this is a dressy guy. This is the one that <laughs> it's um, so comfy. So a bunch of YouTubers got it. So YouTube sent it. So it's like a stampy long head one. So they sent that like a few months ago, and so I put this on. I didn't think I'd be streaming it straight away, but then I got comfy. I was like, well, there's no point taking it off now. Uh, oh, the camera's not in focus. Da -da -da -da. There we go. In focus enough. Close enough. Uh, yeah. So. Um, I probably get like, so I always get hot streaming. Like the room isn't that hot now. Whenever I'm streaming and talking and high energy, then I always end up getting hot. So uh, I finished streaming. So I put my my thingy back on. Um, like, do you want to go back to the gameplay or just do you want to just see Sneezy Alex dancing uh, up and down for a, for a little bit? <laughs> oh, I was gonna I was gonna go make tea. I was gonna go make tea. Oh. I was going to go make oh, tea. Oh, I'd like a cup of tea. Before I start, so I was going to go make a cup of tea. Oh, I'd love a cup of tea. Well, I can't go now because I've just started back the stream. I can't. I can't make. I can't go make tea. Oh. I can't go oh, make tea, no, can you, I? You can't make tea. Tell you what, got an idea. Let's get Alex to make a cup of tea. Alex, go make a cup of tea. Alex, go make tea. Go make a cup of tea. Go make tea. Go make tea. Oh, I wish. I wish I could try. I wish it could be like in films when like you um. You get like, like the, oh, what's um, 101 Dalmatians, like the live action one, where the dog like gets all ready for breakfast and stuff. Or like one of some Gromit. 101 Dalmatians? Did I... The live action one, doesn't he like get him all like, get him all ready in the morning and like bring him his breakfast and stuff? I don't know. Wait, I haven't seen, I, I know that they make a cake. What? At the end. At the end they make Cruella de Bill into a cake. They? The live action, live yeah. action, yeah. Yeah. They make Cruella de Vil into yeah. a cake. Yeah. yeah. What do you mean they make her that into a cake? That might be 102. 101 Dalmatians. You know the one they make her into a cake. Someone has <laughs> what, to know. What do you mean? Like they cook her? Like they yeah. eat her? No, they make her into a cake, into a giant cake, and they decorate her, and they're all doing it. And then what? So it's just not the end. They just leave her in the cake. That's what happens at the end. I would spoons. love that. I would love to be made into a cake. Do you want a cup of tea? Oh, oh. Well, I hadn't thought of it. <laughs> now, now, oh, now you mention it. Now you mention Do they make Cruella? How do you spell Cruella de Vil? Oh, gosh. Um, Cruella oh, there you are. Yeah, de Vil. Yeah. Um, put cake. Cruella de Vil. Cake. Cake. I'm going to come up with cake toppers. It's actual cake. Yeah, there you go. 
there she is. Is that her as a cake? Yeah, that's her in a cake. That's it. That's her in the batter. Puppies make a cake that's out of Cruella de Vil. What's, yeah. the, what's the film? It doesn't say the name oh, of the film. Yeah, it's the one with oddball in. It's the 102. 102, Dalmatia. 101 or 102. Right, a, with oddball. right 100. Yeah, 102. 101. 102 Dalmatians, I guess it says there. Dalmatians. Morning. <laughs> was it Pong Pongo? What's his, what's... Pongo, yeah. Morning scene. Pongo. Morning Pongo. 100. Morning scene morning Pongo. Scene. I, I swear, like, the dog's all helpful, isn't he? In 100. Let's go into this gameplay. Nothing's happening. <laughs> Nothing's <laughs> happening there, anyway. <laughs> Right, this is like the start of 101 Dalmatians. No one else can no, 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 see no, 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 this, it's just us watching it. Look, the alarm falls on his head. Oh, yeah! And he's like, let's go get ready. No, he goes to the shower ready. Look, it turns the shower <laughs> on. Little arm, good boy. <laughs> good boy. Then look, he goes, takes the blanket off. Oh, I'd hate licks that. Licks his ear. Licks his ear, yeah. Puts the coffee on. That's what it is! He puts the coffee on. That's why me saying Alex making tea reminded me of it. Stamps. You're makes... doing a stream on Terraria. I don't know if you needed to be reminded. Yeah, I'm preparing for battle is what the title is. <laughs> um, I'll make a cup of tea. Retro play! Gamer says, play, 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 play. He gets so annoyed. <laughs> oh, oh, I love it. Don't you just love annoying, annoying people? No, I'm no, not doing it intentionally. Love it. It's because some people like the random off-topic conversations and some just want the gameplay. So it's like, mm -hmm. no matter what, you're not making someone happy. You ah, just got to accept that. Squish. Look how thick this is. Yeah. Well, it's, it's actually real. really thin, but I'm just really muscly. That's what it is. Yeah. That's what it is. This is like actually really thin. I'm just really, I'm really bulked up. I really exercise since the... Uh, since the stream earlier. Where am I dressed? Yeah, look what I'm like. Look at, look at us. <laughs> what we're wearing. How's self isolation going? <laughs> Great. Can't see your chest in the way. <laughs> Social distancing. We're inside. Da 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 Stay, ah, uh, stay. Stop the stream, the stream, stay. sit down. Okay. Yay, yay. She might need a wee as well. Actually. You want a cup of tea? Okay, sorry. Please, please. Ow. <sighs> right, hello everyone. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's uh let's we 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 will get back to Terraria. So the good news is is that uh even when everything broke and fell apart, uh, I carried on playing the game and kept on getting the the crystal shards uh because they're everywhere, but they're quite slow to to get because you're kind of getting them all like one at a time. So uh, I'm gonna um, yeah, so I got loads of them. Just I was just I was just watching the um I what I thought I'd do is so they uploaded a Nintendo Mini Direct. So I was watching the Nintendo Direct while just getting the shards. I was like, okay, once the Nintendo's Direct's done, I'll go back and see if it's fixed. But it turned out it got fixed before then anyway. So thumbs up YouTube for fixing whatever was broken. Um, oh, a few donations uh, just came through uh, right now. Uh, thank you to um, uh, to Twaza again, uh, as well as, uh, as Landon and uh, Alpha YouTuber as well, who says, oh, says bye. Oh, sorry. Hopefully I caught you before you left. Hopefully you weren't just leaving because of our dancing. I, I understand that. Um, yeah, I'm kind of surprised not everyone left <laughs> when we started dancing. Uh, Molly says, uh, how long has the stream been on after it crashed? Um, uh, I, th I think there was about like, like about uh, 20, 25 minutes downtime uh, from the, the crash. Uh, everything seems to be okay now, so fingers crossed uh, we will be able to, to carry on. And uh, Raphael is, uh, is back again. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, for the uh, the other big donation, Raphael, and uh, for coming back to, to join us. Good to, to see you here. Uh, Sierra says, I don't mind the, the dancing. Uh, right then, so the the plan is, so I was I was actually about to um, uh, start going, actually I didn't say about to, I did. I started going to look for um, that honey thing, the honey dispenser, I think they call it. Um, uh, yeah, so I was looking for for that, then I accidentally magic mirrored back home, uh, and then that's when we kind of managed to, to to get back in. So the the plan is uh, now that we have freed the uh, the poor bound goblin, if I make a, a house for them, uh, then that means they're going to be able to to go and move in. So uh, oh here we go, that's what we need to make uh, crystal blocks. Oh wait a minute, is it? Do I make five crystal blocks with every shard? That would be good. That could be really helpful. Oh, it is! 
Fire. Okay, I've got so many crystal blocks. And I think I got way... Oh, I did. I got so many more than I needed. I didn't... I, I looked at what the recipe was, but I didn't realize, like, the uh, the amounts of each recipe for, for what was needed. So I think I ended up making, like, way more than, than I should have. Uh, and then what do I need to make the uh, the other stuff? Oh, what do I, what do I need to make it all? Oh, is it the tinkerer? How do I make all? How, how do I make the uh, the crystal furniture? Oh, it's not it's not another special thing I need. I don't need another special thing, do I? Oh, I just searched crystal chair. And I just got a bunch of like real crystal chairs. I should have added terraria. <laughs> Um, crystal chair, yeah, made of crystal blocks. Oh, just workbench. Apparently, I only, I just need a workbench. Where is? So I made the crystal wall. What am I doing wrong? It says I just need a workbench. Is there anything else? Uh, crystal table terraria. Right, crystal furniture. Yeah, so it says I just need to make a crystal chair. I need a crystal block and a workbench. So are these crystal blocks? Crystal block. This is a workbench. Where's all the, uh, where's all the stuff? Go to the side crafting menu? What, down here? But I think that menu where it pops up, yeah, is meant to just show everything that I could craft. Anyone know, uh, am I doing something wrong? It's only on desktop PC version. Really? Man, that's annoying. Is it only on... No, 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 it says on here. It says it's on... It says it's on the console version. On the wiki, unless the wiki's wrong. Oh, no, no, it doesn't. It says cr crystal blocks are on it. Oh, that's a shame. Do you know what? It's, it's not the worst thing in the world. Because... We can, we can do walls out of it. It's so weird that there's still like the, um, there's still like those differences. Like why, like why haven't they just, oh yeah, my, hun my, hu my honey house that I half built. Above my honey house, let me half build a, uh, a crystal house. <laughs> let me at least get this floor down. Oh, that was the walls. That's not the blocks. I did not mean to, to do that. Okay, I guess we're gonna have to, to find just some like any other furniture to put in. Uh, some random fish says, I know this isn't a lot, but hello. That's okay. Like you don't need to donate anything. Just say hello anyway. But welcome to the, uh, welcome to the stream. Uh, do marble furniture. That's a good shout. Shall we do marble? I can get marble. Let's actually finish one of these, uh, one of these rooms. I really hope the, uh, the goblin tinkerer does move in now. I just passed him again. He's still just hanging out down in the uh, the same cave where I was uh, just passed him. Uh, right, let's go make a door and stuff then. And then we do uh, we do marble furniture. So I think that would fit in quite well. Uh, looks cool. It does look cool. It's like as soon as I saw like what the crystal stuff looks like. But the thing is, the furniture looks so cool. It's so annoying. It's not on um, it's not on console. Right, where's my marble? Uh, no, that's the menu itself. Is this marble? That's pearl stone. Pardon pearl stone. Uh, oh, here we go. Here's marble. Oh, is there is there marble furniture? Marble furniture, right, what do I need to, to do this stuff? Oh, oh, I need to do it by... Oh, it's all by different stuff. Okay, and it says it's on console. 
Oh, I need, I need to make it into smooth marble first. Ah, it's so funny. Like, it all happens at the same time. Like, I'll ask myself a question internally. I'll go to look it up. I'll find the answer. And by the time I've done that, the chat's caught up and everyone's telling me to, to do the same thing. <laughs> right, let's just make it all into smooth marble. Hopefully I didn't need that other marble for anything else. Uh, oh, look at that door! Very fancy, very fancy. Didn't mean to make two of them, but that's all right. Didn't mean to jump on my slime. That's also fine. Uh, let's do two marble lanterns. Uh, marble table. Why not? And then we need to do... So that's the light source done. We need to do the chairs. And I think I need to stand... Do I need to stand near something else for the chair? Are there, are there no marble chairs? Oh, there's a mar I can do a marble sofa if I add silk. Right, I should be able to do a marble sofa, I think. Or do I need to go to the uh, the sawmill for that? Oh, looks like there's more stuff. Oh, there, oh there's a mar marble bed. There you go. There's the marble sofa. So that should count. I don't think I need an actual chair as well, do I? I think that should be everything I need, right? Uh, there are marble chairs? Oh, really? Where are the marble chairs? Table, sink, lantern, lamp, door, chest. Oh, chair. Marble chair. Oh, it's kind of like... It looks like... Is this it? Ah, here's the marble chair. So normally, like, when you see, like, the uh, the pictures of the chair, you see them kind of, like, side on. But that one was, like, front on. Uh, El Robo says, hello, you called me a legend in battle once. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> What did you do for me to call you a legend? I mean, something legendary, obviously. I accidentally made two marble beds, so should I sleep in a marble bed as well? Give myself a, an upgrade. All right, now we can fit in the background. Oh, it looks so good! I kind of feel a bit bad that I like... I feel like my my own house is like really, really boring. Like, why didn't I... Like, I could have so easily built my whole house out of this stuff and it would look so cool. I reserved all of the uh, the best stuff for the NPCs, and I should have saved it all for myself, shouldn't I? Let's try this uh, marble sofa there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit all this stuff in, to be honest. Let's we'll squeeze it in somewhere. Um, why are the chairs so tight? Oh, I think they're like... I thought that was like... So what I thought was like, that was the cushion down here. And then that was the back of the chair. I think they're just like little stools. I thought they were like, like tiny ones. Oh, uh, El Robo's asked for why I called him a legend. I got seven kills and you screamed veggie support, lol. <laughs> I think I remember that. I remember all the uh, the veggie support to help me uh, win when I was struggling a little bit on battle mini games. I don't know how much it helped. I think I uh, I kept losing anyway. Uh, I've actually got a bit more room. Should I just add another bed in. Maybe the goblin tinker is gonna get guests. <laughs> uh, right, that that should be everything for a house now, though, right? It's got the light source, got the chairs and stuff. So hopefully someone's going to move into to there. I think the honey room, I'm just going to leave just as it is for, for now. Just because I really want to get that honey furniture. And so hopefully just like at some point, I'm going to get the uh, the honey dispenser and I'll be able to, to finish off all of that stuff. So now... What I want to do is I need to finish off, like, 
Uh, just while we wait for the Goblin Tinkerer to, to show up. Uh, I need to finish kind of like the, the entryway to that place. Like kind of like the, the tunnel bit at the, the side for how everyone's going to get up there. Uh, when will you play Animal Crossing again? Domsky says. Um, I mean, like, it doesn't when I play it. Like, I play it every day. I'm so addicted to Animal Crossing right now. It's, uh, it's become a bit of a problem. And, like, so many of my friends have started really getting into it. Like, friends, like, who I don't normally play Switch games with or aren't into that kind of game. Because of all of the, the lockdown and stuff, everyone's just really looking for new games to, to play and, like, relaxing games. <laughs> So I've been spending a lot of time doing it. So, like, I don't, I don't want to stream or do videos on Animal Crossing yet. Basically, because like I'm not proud of my house yet. <laughs> I want to be house proud. Like my house, like, like I've, I've, so I've upgraded to the house and then done one upgrade. So I got like, like I've only got one room still, but it's like the bigger room. Uh, for those that have been playing Animal Crossing, will kind of know what I mean. Uh, but the decorations are they just aren't there yet. Like, I haven't got, like, many, like, much furniture that I like and stuff. So it's kind of just everything thrown in there. It's kind of like a big storage room at the, the moment. So uh, I want to, um... Uh, I want to wait until, like, I'm a, a bit... Ooh. No! Not doing that. Not doing that yet! Not doing that yet. Uh, yeah, I want to, um... I want to be a bit more house proud. I want to... To, to kind of... Uh, have more stuff to, to show off for, for when I uh, next do do a Terraria live stream. So uh, I'll probably do one uh, in the, the future, but I'm going to wait until um, I've got better stuff. Because, like, I've been playing it quite a lot, but I haven't been, like, um, like I haven't been, like, grinding and I haven't been doing all of the, the techniques to get loads of money and playing the turnip market and, like, really, like, grinding it out to get good stuff and be efficient. I've just been doing a bit of decorating, wandering around, chatting to people and, you know, crafting things and kind of, like, Easing my way through it is the kind of that's kind of the, the way I want to play that type of game. I know actually I think I need these um I think I need these uh, oh no or star no I didn't need starfish I need uh, I do need some coral for something that I'm going to be coming up to to do soon and I also I think I need some like sh uh, shark fins as well which I guess I just get from uh, from sharks I assume would uh, would make quite a lot of sense. God there's really not many palm trees though is there there's like two palm trees here it'd be good to get like some more acorns and plant like way more of them so when i come back in the the future i'll be able to get more of them yeah because that was uh not much palm wood at all and that's what the other uh, things built out of why is it so dark and rainy uh yeah let's cut down some of these trees just to get some acorns and then i can like plant some more palm trees Yeah, do you just get shark fins from sharks, I guess? So I need that as part of my process to make... Oh, what's this thing called? Uh, the... Um, the destroyer emblem. Which requires a million things to make it. And that is just one of the, uh, one of the little things that are included that I need to, to make. I can't see anything down here though. There we go. Let me plant these uh, these acorns before I forget as well. Oh, I've got 14 of them. Yeah, that'll get me enough palm wood. Was this a tea delivery? Yeah. How unexpected. Oh, she's in the garden. Yeah. Alright, thank you. The goblin ticker is in my, in my house. Or like moved into the... Uh, the house I just built. Where's the goblin tinkerer? People are saying he's there. Has he moved into the uh, the bed? Oh, there he is! Here he is! Ah, oh, I'm so glad. 
I know, whoa, that... That tree grew very, very quickly. Uh, that's handy, though. Uh, where, where's all this, where's all this coral, then? Is this coral all just down here? There I can see it. Oh, so dark. Should have brought some, like... Uh, there we go. There's some coral. Don't know how much I need. But there's not much here, so I might as well just grab it all. probably do. Uh, yeah, let's just go grab this tree since it grew, like, right here. So I don't need loads of this stuff, to be fair. And we can magic mirror our way back home. I'll actually take this off now. I, I always get hot when I'm streaming. Like, when I'm just sitting here, I'm fine. But I don't know, something about, like, moving around a bit more and talking, I get, like, hot so quick. And it is, like, a surprisingly, like, sunny day as well. Uh, are you going to do more tabs, Super Shrek, uh, Shrek, uh, Super Shrek says? Uh, I am! So, I, I'm actually in a weird situation with tabs. You might, some of you might be able to help me. I think it was just a glitch and maybe if I try again it'll be fine. But, I tried loading up tabs on the, um, uh, on the PC. Because one of the problems with doing it on Xbox is it's just so laggy. Like, even on the Xbox One X, it really can't handle it. So I tried loading it up on PC to, to try streaming it on there, and it ran really well, but, like, I couldn't add units in. Like, I'd move around and stuff, and, like, to click to add units, just nothing would happen. And, like, clicking was working everywhere else, but, like, I was like, am I doing something wrong? And, like, in the controls, there's no button for that, because obviously you'd assume it's just clicking the mouse. So I think I just had, like, some weird bug or something, and it is in early access, like, the game isn't done yet. But it was super weird. Um... So yeah, I'm going to try again. Like, I am like 90... Actually, probably not like it. I'm like 80% sure that if I go and just try and load up the game and just do it, it will just work. It just feels like that it was that sort of problem. So I'll try it again. And then I think uh, if I do do tabs again, it will uh, probably be on the um, be on the PC. Just because my PC will be able to, to handle all of the... Uh, the chaos a little bit better. You don't know how lucky you are, Goblin. Look, I saved you. You were bound. And now, look, living the life of luxury with all of your crystal furniture, your multiple crystal beds. Right, so I think I'm going to almost have enough of this wood to kind of get to this roof bit here. Or oh, do I have enough? Oh, no! Oh, <laughs> one not enough. Look, what I can do is if I put like a bit of sand in there, they're like, ah, it's just a decoration. Actually, you know what? You can't even hardly tell the difference. <laughs> it's blended in. So, um, actually, I will have to have a door here. So I can break this away to give me a bit more. Will, do I have enough to actually make a palm wood door? I don't think I do. How much wood? No, you need six wood to make a, a door. But I can fill in that little last gap here. And then, of course, I need to make more of the uh, the platforms uh, as well. But I can actually reforge all of my, my stuff now, which was like one of the uh, one of the, the main goals. Uh, thank you to uh, It's Ethan for the uh, donation. Uh, Raphael as well says, I hope you have a good day in self-isolation. Also, you are my favourite YouTuber. Thank you so much. Spending my day in self-isolation playing Terraria. Uh, should I try reforging something now? Should I go get some of my money? I added in a, uh, a little piggy bank, uh, by the way. Crystal bed is uncomfortable. Do you have a crystal bed? How do you know that? Have you ever slept on a crystal bed? Like, I'm assuming, like, the frame's made out of crystal. I don't think, like... The mattress is made out of crystal, right? <laughs> uh, right, so I got that superior anyway. So the thing I really want to reforge is my influx waiver. Because that's just like the... Um, 
it's the, like the standard base level. I could get it way better. So uh, let's let's give this a bit of a go. Nogs or clogs, nogs. All uh, right, reforge. How much is it? Uh, I'll place item here. Okay. I've got a sh I've got a shoddy one. Great, brilliant. Thanks for that. You've now made my best weapon worse. Demonic! Oh, how are one level? One level's demonic in terms of like the the rating. Uh, Refraud rating swords terraria. I don't. I think there's godly. I think might be the the top one. Um, so what are like just the uh, the tears? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, it's not that good actually. So there's demonic. Oh, then there's murderous, savage, dangerous, superior, and godly uh, above it. So the question is, do I try it again or do I keep it as it is? Hmm, I could give it another go. I'm actually gonna very quickly uh, run to the the toilet. Because uh, I need a, I need a bit of a wee wee. Uh, so yeah, I'll be back in uh, in just one second, and we can uh, we can carry on. Wesley Bessler just says poo poo hands. <laughs> pee pee time. <laughs> uh oh, stinky. <laughs> uh, godly and legendary are the same. So, what are the. um? So, I think I can look up like per weapon. So. Yeah, so demonic is plus fifteen damage. Hey, I'm just wondering, should I, should I do it again? Should I try reforging it again, or should I reforge something else? So it won't put the damage up, I don't think anymore. You know what? I think I might keep it on demonic. Because Demonic gives like, like plus 15% damage. And the damage isn't going to go any higher, but it could like switch around to give like other stuff. Like Demonic is the, the best one you can get with just two stat bonus. The only thing I could get better is Godly. But everything else, like Murderous, Savage, Dangerous and Superior, even though they do other things, nothing gets um like a better higher damage. So I think I am not going to be greedy and I'm going to keep it the, the same as it was, I think is the, the plan. So what I was thinking of doing now, uh, le everyone's saying legendary's best. Oh yeah, oh yeah, then there's legendary, which is uh, plus 15 damage, plus, okay. But once again, even legendary is only plus 15 damage uh, as well. It doesn't actually make it do any more damage. It just, like, adds a bunch more stuff. Oh, let's do it again, then. Let's roll the dice. Let's do it again. Right, so what we want, the only ones I want, is godly or legendary. And I am about to waste all of my money to get it. <laughs> I shouldn't do this. I, as I'm doing this, I know I shouldn't do this. 
but I'm going to do it. Right, hurtful, damaged, massive, strong, un unhappy. Yeah, that's how I'm feeling right now, because I see all my money go. Light, tiny, dangerous. I should have left it where I was, shouldn't I? Small, unhappy, bulky. I'm getting such bad ones. Oh, superior, superior, what's this? So that's plus 10 damage. Plus three critical, plus ten knockback. So this is really, really good. How much money do I have left? Oh wait, have I still got five platinum coins? I still got five platinum coins left, but it's re it's twenty seven gold to reforge it now. It's getting super expensive. So the question is, do I tap out or carry on? Right, we need yay or nay in the chat. Yay. And I keep on going, wasting my money. Nay, we accept that Superior is pretty awesome. And we leave it as it is. Right, up to you. Yay or nay, please. Yay. Oh, there's so many yays. There's so many yays. There are a few nays out there. Right, let's waste my money. Right, so we're still after Godly or Legendary. Oh, Murderous. It's good, but not good enough. Damaged. Strong. Strong again. Bulky. Godly! Godly! The yays were right! The yays were right! Right, let me get this thing out of here before I accidentally <laughs> reforge it again. So that is giving me plus 15 damage, plus 5 critical strike chance, and plus 15 knockback, which is what the, uh, the demonic wasn't giving me. So there's one tier above, which is legendary. But I ain't pushing it. I don't wanna I don't wanna push it to that level. Apparently, during the um this event that I wanna do, this the old one's army, whatever this thing is, um apparently the uh, the nimbus rod is actually really good for it. Because there's loads and loads of quite weak enemies, putting it up apparently is pretty good, so. I guess we should probably uh, reforge the, the Nimbus Rod uh, as well. Zealous, annoying, manic, damaged, ignorant. At least these are pretty cheap, these reforged. Adept, damaged, oh. Hurtful. Oh, come on, I'm only getting bad things. Quick, quick. Oh, deadly. What are the, um... Oh, so that's melee weapons. What what is it for magic weapons? Okay, so the the best is a uh, is mythical for for magic weapons. Keep deadly, people are saying. So, what is deadly compared to everything else? Oh wait, is this a um can't see deadly on the on the list. I mean, it's not even red. I'm gonna keep going. Keen, damaged, zealous, nimble, maniac, ignorant, agile, maniac, nimble. Oh come on, keen, annoying. I know. Tell me about it. Agile, mystic. Am I looking at the long list here? Is it not considered a is it like a summoning weapon or is it, or is it a ranged weapon? Oh, it's like, oh, it's considered a ranged weapon, I think. Maybe. So this is a plus 11 damage, minus 20. Are we going to keep it? Oh, a lot of people are saying keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Right, keep it. Keep Mystic. Keep Mystic. Right. We're doing thumbs up for Mystic. We're going to keep the... Uh, we're going to keep the, the Mystic then. Uh, what else should I uh, reforge while I'm here? Can you reforge your armor? Is that a thing? I don't know if you can. No, I don't think we can. So for all of this stuff, a lot of this stuff I'm going to be uh, switching out anyway. So I probably don't need to, to worry about that too much. So what I wanted to, to work towards was making the uh, destroyer emblem. And part of making that, I need to make the uh, the Avenger emblem. 
which basically means defeating the uh, wall of flesh uh, a whole bunch of times. So uh, I got look, look at all these chests down here. Well, <laughs> this is just stuff that I've just dumped. These are all by just throwing things to get them out of the way for now, chest. <laughs> I'm gonna have to sort that all out soon. Uh, let me put the coral in here. So yeah, and then to make it then, there's like some other stuff that I've already just gathered uh, around and about. Uh, so yeah, should we go battle the, uh, the wall of flesh? Oh, did I put the, uh, the voodoo doll guy in here? I did. So let's go and grab that. So there's like, I think it's like sorcerer emblem. There's all these different emblems that I can, uh, I can try and get. And so there's a, uh, every time I defeat the, the wall of flesh, there's a one in four chance of, uh, of those things getting dropped. So I basically just need to defeat the wall of flesh like at minimum four times, but I guess up until uh, however many times it takes to, to get everything that I need. So that shouldn't be too bad. Let me just empty my pockets out here a little bit. I have a... a a rough idea for my my storage system. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. Right. So where was my is my tunnel straight down here? Yeah. Here's the uh, the tunnel straight down to the underworld here. So let's have a, a nice nostalgic battle against the uh, the wall of flesh. Oh well. Uh, oh, Molly said bots. Seems like we're just getting one or one or two. Oh, my money. People are saying. Oh, good call. Cool. It's a bit late now, but I will. Uh, Keep reminding me when I get back so I can um I can put my my money back in my chest because I got three platinum coins on me, which is a little bit scary. <laughs> uh, thank you to the uh the scratch skin scratch kin for the other uh, donation as well as a uh, SD Young King uh, as well. Thank you so much. The uh, the tunnel's a bit a bit jaggedy once we got down here, where I was avoiding the uh, the lava as I dug my way down. It basically goes straight down. It's not as a oh, was that thing? Was it like a weasel or something? What was that thing? <laughs> so the only problem is, is at the moment, and I know I've probably passed up so many of them, but I've only actually got one voodoo doll on me. And normally I, like, I end up with loads of them, but there is a, like, a particular, like, demon that- Oh, that thing! What is that? Is it a ghost? It looks like a weasel! I think it's a ghost, right? When I glimpsed it, it looked like a weasel! <laughs> what is that thing? What's it called? A float- oh wait, a floaty gross. There's a floaty gross around here, apparently. <laughs> Yeah, so there's a, there's like voodoo demons uh, or something that I need to, to go and try and take out. But the uh, the actual wall of flesh, well, I really don't want to jinx it here, should be easy enough. Oh yeah, I forgot, how do I... Oh, God. <laughs> did not mean to do that. How do I drop things again? I always forget how to, how to drop things on this version. I might just have to do it from the menu. Oh, how do I even do it from the menu? How do you, uh, what do you press to, to drop things in this version again? Not Y, not X, not B, nothing on the D-pad. I push them on the... Uh, to drop, press up and X. Oh, X. I'm, I'm pressing X here. Press, pressing X is... Because that's what I pressed to do. And it put me on my slime guy. Oh, I gotta do it in the inventory? So weird that you can't just drop it, you have to go to the menu. You can't, wait, how do you drop when you're moving around and stuff? Is he in? Did he actually land in the lava? Oh, is that not considered proper, proper lava? Not official lava. All right, let's try it a little bit to the, the side here. All right, is this gonna do it? Oh, I missed it! I missed it by one! So if you don't know, to spawn in the wall of flesh, you need to drop this guy, this little doll, into the lava. And I keep just missing. I don't think that counts. I don't think this is... I don't think that's lava enough. That lava is not enough lava. Right. Let's go to someone with more lava. 
<laughs> Let's try this again. Alright, let's just charge in here with this sword and let's just see if I can just destroy it. This should be like really, really easy. Come on. Come on. There we go! There, so see the, um, that emblem? The, uh, the ranger emblem. So that's the, the thing that I needed. So there's, there's four of them. There's four different types of, uh, of emblem that I need to, I need to, to get. And that was the, uh, that was the first one. So because I don't have any of them, it really didn't matter which, uh, which one I got then. Like I could have got any of them. But like once I like start battling him again, it's going to get to the case where I just want to make sure I'm not doubling up and getting the uh, the same one again and again. Uh, so now I just need to go. I need I need to find those demons that drop the um the voodoo doll. Oh, did I? Is this where I built before? I, th I think this is where, where I must have battled the, uh, the wall of flesh before. And I was being a, a little bit extra cautious. <laughs> I just like built that, that whole thing across there. I am a little bit scared right now. I'm going to be ready to, uh, to magic mirror back home if I need to. Just because um, I do have all of this money on me still. <laughs> and it's making me a little bit nervous. <laughs> I also wouldn't mind like double checking um, at home. Oh, has he got the voodoo doll? No, I think the uh, the demon, you actually see them holding the voodoo doll. Well, I think they always drop it, but I, I think they're like relatively rare. So anyway, because back in like my, my old world, I had so many of the voodoo dolls. And I don't think I brought like, but you can't stack them, I don't think. So I don't think I ended up bringing too many of them across. Uh, in the new version, you only need one. Oh, really? You only need... Over a second, I only need one. Oh, oh, good. Oh, we might be able to do this then. That would be very, very convenient. Right, first things first. Let's go and throw this, uh, this money away. Thanks for the, uh, the help, everyone. It's called Voodoo Demon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was something along those lines. Right, so we got the the ranger emblem. Right, let's let's get the uh, let's get this over. So I'm trying to make the destroyer emblem, and I was looking this up earlier, and it's quite the ordeal in terms of the amount of items and objects used to make this thing. But I think it will end up being worth it because it uh, really puts my damage up, which is apparently what is like the the big important thing that you need. Uh, for when going into this uh, this battle. So, I need the Eye of Golem, which I need to get by defeating the Golem. That's fine, I can do that. Defeating the Golem is easy enough. I've got loads of the power cells. So let's leave the Eye of the Golem for now. I want to make the Avenger Emblem, which used to be... Apparently this isn't the case anymore. Used to be the case where I needed the Warrior Emblem, the Ranger Emblem, the Sorcerer Emblem, uh... And the summoner emblem, but apparently now I just need one. Oh, so is it all oh, on the old gen consoles? You needed three of them, but now you just need one of them. Ah, well, that is a very pleasant change. Then I also need the uh, the soul of might, soul of light, and soul of fright. Do I even one of these? Uh, so I don't need night. I need sight. Uh, yeah, I don't need you. Uh, I need one of these. Let's take all of them. One of them. And one of that one. And then I believe I can make it. Right? I'm not missing anything, am I? There we go. There's the uh, there's the Avenger emblem. Beautiful. Let's uh, plop that down there. Uh, I guess I could just put wear it for, for now. So this isn't so much for for now. Uh, I killed the, the tax collector. I didn't mean to. I, I didn't know there was a tax collector or what they do. I probably just thought they were an enemy. Uh, so yeah, th that really puts my damage up. 
What do I get rid of those, the, the question? Maybe, uh, maybe this thing for, for now? So th that's good for when you're getting attacked loads. Maybe, maybe I'll, I'll sort this all out a little bit in the, the future, but... Apparently the, the thing I'm making is like the, the best thing that's, uh, that's needed. And then the other thing is the, uh, the celestial shell. Which is the reason I was going for like the coral and stuff earlier. Uh, but for now, I need to get the, uh, the eye of the golem. And uh, it's pretty uh, pretty easy to work out <laughs> where you get the eye of the golem from. Which boss you need to defeat to, to get that. So yeah, I need to go and have a, uh, a battle against the, the golem. Let me just empty all of this stuff out in one of these chests down here. Ooh, gross. I do all of my, like, organizing the, the chest out of episodes sometimes. So, right, where are the uh, the lizard cells? Here they are. I've got, like, 12 of them still. Uh, Stampy, you get Neptune shell from the uh, the solar eclipse. I think I already... Uh... Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe I, I can't do that yet. Upgrade uh, Obsidian Shield to the Ank Shield. I could do that. I could do that. I could do that. Let me write that down. Ank Shield. Right, but now let's uh, let's focus on this uh, this first thing. Uh, you can also craft the Neptune Shell. See, I thought that. I thought you could craft it. Because I think um, you need like a Dragon Fin and so... I, I think I looked up all the stuff that you uh, that you need. Uh, right, let's go up against the the golem though. Hello, golem. Right, let's see. Let's see how easy this is going to be now. I should probably be a little bit, a little bit careful. <laughs> like, I've a, I've a tendency to get a little bit overconfident recently, <laughs> and then that ends up rather backfiring. But this, don't forget, this sword has now been reforged, so it's way stronger than it than it used to be. And then I've got the uh, the higher damage uh, as well because I got the uh, the Avenger thing. And so even it, even though it isn't quite as good as the what I'm going to end up with, it's still pretty great, especially when I'm doing all of this melee damage. Like I remember, like even though Gollum wasn't the hardest thing in the world, but when I started doing these live streams, I remember still having like quite the uh, quite the struggle against him. And actually, let's be a little bit careful now because I am getting quite <laughs> quite damaged. Let's, uh, let's back up just a little bit and maybe finish off with this. Oh, yeah, actually. Oh, I forgot about the uh, the next stage. Oh, God, maybe I am going to get taken out here now. <laughs> oh, dear. Let's use the uh, the hatchet for a little bit. See if we can get some, uh, some dodging in. Yeah, I thought I was just about to defeat him and then his head came off. And then <laughs> the fight just carried on. <laughs> there we go. Okay, okay. Like, that could have been way easy. I just got a little bit of... Uh, a little bit too excited. <laughs> All right, what do we get? Uh, we've got the Golem Mask. Uh, we've got the Beetle Husks, of course. Um, I got the uh, the Staff of Earth. Apparently that's pretty good, isn't it? The Staff of Earth. I think I've heard of that. Uh, the Ang Shield takes so long to get stamps. Oh, really? Is that going to be a, a bit of a, an endeavor? Right, should we, uh, I guess we need to keep going against the, uh, the golem until we, uh, until we manage to, to get it. Staff of Earth is bad. Oh, is it? Okay. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't focus on that. I guess I could add the, uh, the Nimbus Cloud into the, the fray. And then I haven't got my little, um, rocket ship following me either, do I? There we go. Let's, uh, not the rocket ship, the, uh, yeah, the little UFO. All right, let's add these, uh, these Nimbus Clouds in. And let's go for, let's go for round two, shall we? I'll try and be a little bit more, a little bit more careful with my dodging this time. Cause it got a little bit, a little bit hairy towards the uh, the end of that battle, didn't it? <laughs> try and keep him under these clouds if we can. Come on, come under the, come under the ray. He doesn't do loads of damage. But it's just like consistent bonus damage while you're like attacking him in other ways anyway. Right, 
going back. Back over to the rain. Back over to the rain before your head comes off. You can see the, uh, the UFO joining in in the battle. Once again, doesn't do loads of damage, but... The more, the more damage that stuns, the, the better. This time I run out of magic. And we can go back in with the, uh, the melee attacks again. We got him. We got him. GG, Golem. GG. Uh, oh, I got another one of my, my pickaxe. I got a ruthless pixel. And my normal one is a savage pixel. For uh, plus 9 damage. Uh, oh, plus 18 damage, but minus 10 knockback. Hmm. I wonder if I should, uh, should I, should I, uh, switch to using the, the ruthless one? I never really thought of, like, reforging my, uh, my pickaxe, but that could actually be a, a good idea. Uh, no eye, though. I didn't get the, the thing that I need. Getting loads of spare beetle husks if anyone, uh, needs it. Oh, I have the eye? You already got the eye of Gollum. Is it here? Where is it? Well, do I have it in my, in my chests? Oh, everyone say he already has one. I don't know whether, like, so now I don't know everyone's just trolling me, right? I'm just going to ignore you. I'm going to carry on then. I don't know whether you guys are joking with me or not. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to keep on going boldly forth. I can't, I can't see where the, uh, the Nimbus clouds are anymore just because it's just raining everywhere. <laughs> uh, in the, in the chest? It's in your chest. In the chest. In a chest. Alright. I will, I will check after this, uh, after this battle. But I'm not sure whether I believe you yet because, I'll be honest, I don't trust you guys. <laughs> because you lie to me all the time. <laughs> so, you've broken the sacred bond of streamer to chat trust. And so I never know whether you're being serious or not. But I, wi I will check. Just in case. Just in case to save some time. I will have a have a look. Right, which which chest is it in then, eh? I'm going to say which chest is it in. And everyone needs to say the same the same chest. Even though you could all just copy what you're saying. Oh, I've got to be careful here, actually. I'm getting a... Uh, Getting a little bit hurt. Let's go do some dodging. Oh, there we go. I got the eye of the golem there anyway. I don't have that in a chest. I sure would have seen that. I think people are lying, haha, <laughs> says Molly. <laughs> Why don't you trust us, Daffy? Because you lie to me all of the times. The amount of, like, times I've started a stream and everyone's like, We can't hear you! We can't hear you! <laughs> Your mic's not working! <laughs> and then I go, Really? And I start clicking around, go, What's going on? And then it's like, Oh no, you're all just joking. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter whether you're joking or not, because I got one now anyway. Right! We can make the thing! Is it the Destroyer Emblem? We can make it! Is it the, uh, the Tinkerer's Workshop? need to make it at uh avenger emblem oh i guess so i need to take the uh the emblem off there we go destroy our emblem all right i did it can i can i reforge it can i reforge stuff like that Oh, what did Squid say? Squid said no, he's not. Oh, what's... Uh, your mic is mute. <laughs> yeah, welcome to the chat join. Welcome to the chat join. Welcome. It's been a long day, Squid. It's been a long day. How's it going? Uh, yeah, let's see if I can, uh, I can, I can reforge this. I think I, uh, I think I can do, right? I don't know if I got enough money on me. Ah, I can. Oh, so I, I I got the guarding one anyway. What are the uh what are the tiers for uh, equipable stuff? So like Terraria equipable reborn. Like, I want to know like for when I when I, when I get something good. So 
So melee weapons, uh, ranged weapons, magical uh, accessories. Is this it? Hmm, I'm not sure. We just judge it by the uh, judge it by the color, and just hope we get a uh, a red one or precise one. Should I should I leave it at? Oh, I want menacing or warding. Or oh, warding's the best. Armored. I seem to keep I seem to keep getting really good stuff, and it makes me not want to want to stop. Armored. Warding. Oh! I think I, I think I went over it. I think I got warding, but I just went over it. I think I think I just I just think I, I think I just went over it. <laughs> I think I just ruined it. <laughs> I, I was expecting for like the top one for it to be red, the text, and I clicked it. Oh no. That is so annoying. Hasty. Quick. Violent. Menacing. Precise. Jagged. Angry. Fleeting. Angry again. Armored. Uh, intrepid, spiked, precise, and be so careful now. Violent, menacing. Uh, oh, menacing is good. Is that what I started off with? Right. Okay. We want we want ye yays or nays, yays or nays for menacing. Nay means I stop it menacing. Menacing's good. Stop wasting your money. Yay means carrying on. A lot of people are saying menacing is good. Why did you skip menacing? Okay, we have... Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm staying with menacing. I'm staying with menacing. I'm staying, I'm staying. I'm staying with menacing. Everyone's saying menacing is good. Why don't I skip menacing? Right, menacing. Menacing's fine. Thumbs up for menacing. <laughs> okay, so the other thing... I wanted to make then, which was recommended to be good, is the Celestial Stone, which is a bit of a, it's a bit of an effort to make, but I think, I think I can do it. I think it'll be worth it as well. And it looks pretty. I know nothing of this game, but I'm supportive. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's the thing, I always just like go into this assuming that everyone's Terraria experts, but like, Half the people here are as clueless as I am, aren't they? <laughs> Menacing is bad? Oh, I mean, I just don't even know. Warding is way better, but menacing is good. Okay, yeah, I skip warding. I think I will accept, accept here, because then I can reforge other stuff that I get uh, as well. Uh, shout out to uh, Leyland and, uh, and Harrison. Thank you uh, so much for, for watching the, the stream. I hope you're enjoying yourselves. Uh, hello to, to Poppy, who says, still don't know what's going on, uh, but I'm loving it. <laughs> uh, Nathan says, hi, Sam Peter. It's my best friend Abby's birthday pretty soon, and it would make her year if... Uh, you said happy birthday to her. Uh, so, yeah, happy birthday. Um, oh, what did you say to say Abby? Yeah, Abby. Happy birthday, Abby, for when it's your, your birthday soon. Maybe, like, hopefully she's not watching live. Maybe, like, save this clip and just send it to her on her birthday. So, tell her, let me just start again. Cut all this bit out. And then I'll just do a new clip for, for Abby's birthday, okay? I'll do it with a dramatic chair turn as well to make it dramatic. And it'll really freak her out. Hello, Abby! Happy birthday! Hope you have a good day, whatever you end up doing. Uh, thanks for watching my videos. I'll see you later. Bye! There you go. So take that as a clip and then send that to Abby for her birthday. And Abby, if you were watching this whole thing anyway, hopefully it just made you laugh. At me being a goof. <laughs> thank you to Blitz Gaming. Says hi, Stampy. You were my childhood hero and inspiration to become a YouTuber. Oh, thank you so much. And good luck with your your YouTube channel as well. Everyone's still arguing about menacing and warding. Oh, look at everyone saying happy birthday to Abby. Amazing. 
Uh, hi, Savvy. Can I get a happy birthday clip for my birthday next year, please, Squid? Wasn't it your birthday like a month ago or something, Squid? <laughs> Uh, right, okay, what was I doing? What was I doing? What was I doing? I completely lost track. Oh, uh, yeah, so the Celestial Stone. So, to make the Celestial Stone... So, first I'll tell you what it does. It does... It's so good. It's so good. So, it does plus 10% melee speed, plus 10% damage of every type of damage as well, whether it's ranged or magic and stuff, which is great for me because I'm always switching around, plus 2% critical chance, plus 1 HP life regeneration, plus 4 dispense, plus 15% mining speed, and plus 50% minion knockback. It is OP. It is so, so good. That is why it's going to be worth the um, the, the effort to, to make this thing. Uh, so yeah, the Celestial Stone. Uh, it can also be used to make the Celestial Shell. Which I think has all of the other that stuff, but like, and better stuff as well. Which I could do, because I do have the Moon Shell. Yeah, so we want to make the Celestial Shell overall. But first we're going to make the Celestial Stone. The Celestial Shell is better. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll make the shell. But to make the shell, we need to make the stone. And then add it to a moon shell, which I already have. Okay? Sorry. For all of you that don't know what Terraria is and you're only here because of me, I can only apologise. We're in the same boat. We will work this stuff out. So, I need to make a moonstone and a sunstone. To make the sunstone, I need... Sunstone is a hard mode post golem. Uh, which has a chance to be dropped by the golem. Oh! I just need to keep fighting the golem. Oh, we just carry on where we left off then. <laughs> so it's a 12% it's a chance to be dropped by the golem. Uh, uh, so it's the same stats as the moonstone, but only activated during the, the day. Like, do I need to, like, battle him during the day? Uh, you have everything moon, but you need some sun stuff. Okay. All right, let's uh, let's carry on where we left off then, battling the uh, battling the golem. Who knew that I was like playing the uh, the odds game to get like to be trying to get that as well. It's kind of handy that like I can just spawn the golem right here, and I have like eight of the uh, the lizard cells left, so uh, I should be uh, I should be all right to to keep on going. Uh, Blitz Gaming uh, says, uh, "Hi, Savvy. Stay safe, uh, uh, safe and healthy. Uh, it would mean the the world to me if uh, if you uh, if you subscribe. Uh, I don't really like subscribe to people from my channel, just because like my my main channel, I kind of just use it for for watching stuff. But I can check out your your channel though, see what kind of stuff you do. I assume it's probably something gaming if you watch me. Uh, trap the golem in a box, make it much easier. I mean, you say it would be easier, but like." He's pretty easy to defeat anyway, and the time it would take for me to like build a box to trap him in, it's pretty just easy just doing it this way to be honest. Like it takes like how long did that take to defeat him? But like, that's easy enough. Uh, being honest, gonna, I don't think I got it. I didn't see it pop up. I got the slow heat ray, which is apparently really bad. Right. Keep this, uh, keep this train, keep this train rolling. Keep on going. Uh, Stabby, if you want to defeat the Moon Lord, you need the Cosmic Car Key. Yeah, that's on my list. On my, my list of stuff, which is, uh, is required. That's on the, the list. So I did do the, um, the Martian Madness event. Uh, but I didn't get it. I didn't get the, the drop. So apparently the uh, the probe will come back. But now I've defeated the uh, the Martian Madness once. It won't come back like as regularly. So I just need to, to keep an eye out. But yeah, if I do see the um, the, the probe come back, uh, I will definitely go and have a uh, another go trying to, to get it. Uh, sock reveal. I did a sock reveal already, Ava. I, will, I, I did the, the sock reveal at the beginning of the stream. To all of those that haven't seen which socks I am wearing today, you have missed your opportunity. You're going to have to watch back on VOD to see my excellent sock selection. <laughs> I like one today. I love the way that just sock ruined. Is that like a, a thing that everyone does on stream? Is that just a thing that people start saying for for me? Oh, I've got another eye of the, the golem. 
I don't need it now. I've already got one. I definitely don't need to battle this thing in the day, do I? It didn't say anything about it on the, uh, on the thing. I mean, that would kind of make sense, though. Right. Seven more of these cells. I guess we, uh, I guess we just keep on going. Uh, how many hours have you put into this game, Stampy? Probably not as many as you think, really. Because, like, most of the time I'm playing, like, back in the day it was when I was doing videos, and now it's when I'm streaming, so it's like... Like, I don't play much when I'm not streaming, just because I want you to see everything. Like, the only stuff I do when I'm not streaming is, like, if I'm setting up a video, like, normally just sorting out my inventory, or, like, doing some of, like, the more mundane, boring stuff. So I can do the exciting stuff like this in the uh, in the stream. So probably, probably don't play as much as you think. I got another eye, another jagged eye of the the golem, another mask. I can set up a golem shop and just like sell all of like the stuff that he drops. Blitz Gaming says his money to go buy hand sanitizer. <laughs> I mean, you joke, but like, we did need to go and buy hand sanitizer, like. <laughs> Luckily we're doing, we've got plenty of soap and toilet rolls, the most important thing. If it comes down to it, we can eat all of the toilet rolls and we'll be fine. Like, our big thing is like, uh, milk for tea. Like, that's gonna be the, uh when we need to go to the shop that's going to be the the big thing that's going to be the, that that'll be the thing to force us to, to go to the shop apart from that we should be we should be good to survive quite a few weeks without leaving the the house or like not going to the shop at least just leaving to to walk the the puppy i got the forceful golem fist that's new, isn't it? I don't think I had that before. What's this thing like? Is this is this thing any good? Whoa! It looks cool! I don't know if it's actually effective, but it looks cool. I think if I don't get it this time, I might do something else until it's day just in case i do only get it in the day like no one's told me to do that and i didn't say that on the wiki but it feels like that's something that really would like make sense uh golem fist is great it's bad it's okay it's pretty good we, we tried out I, it's quite good because it's <laughs> like the golem's trying to punch me and i'm just punching him out like our fists are like hitting in the air and like knocking each other back I was having a boxing match against the, uh, the golem. <laughs> and I think I'm winning as well. Right, okay, let's, uh, let's go back to the, uh, the influx waiver instead. Give me, please give me it. Give me the sunstone. Give me the sunstone. No sunstone still? The sunstone is a hard mode, post golem accessory, which has a 12%, one out of eight chance to drop from the golem boss. It grants the same stat bonus as the moonstone. Right. The sunstone is kind of the moonstone. So it doesn't say anything about when you uh, when you battle it. It 
It's an expert mode drop? No, it doesn't say that. It is a hard mode drop. No, no, it's hard mode. It's not, it's not expert. I think I, I think I have had a chance to get it all of these times. But it says one in eight. But that doesn't mean if I battle eight times, I am going to get it. Uh, it can be night. Yeah, I mean, it's surely it, like it would say that it can't be night otherwise. Right, we have, we have four more chances until I run out of these cells. So let's do let's do these four more. Hopefully not these four more. Hopefully let's do one more and just get it. And then we can maybe uh re rethink. To be fair, I'm getting pretty uh pretty efficient at taking this guy down. It's not like the uh it's not like the battles last very long now at all. Yeah, this is where he starts getting a bit more deadly. So I fly around with this for a little bit. Just until I run out of, of mana. I don't know, that's normally put him like pretty weak, and I can just run him with the sword and finish him off like this. Do, do the old one-handed fight just to show off. I don't think I got it then either. I guess the bright side is all of this stuff that I'm getting, all of this junk. At least I can like sell it all. And then I can use that money to, to go and do like more reforging, I guess, is kind of like the, the bright side. This has been a very long stream. It has been. To be fair though, we did have like an accidental like half hour break in the middle when YouTube just <laughs> had a bit of a, a funny moment and just stopped working for a while. Uh, can people stop spamming the um, that like loading emote? There's like an, there's an emote of like as if YouTube's loading that everyone just keeps spamming. And I don't think it's ever tricked anyone that it's actually real but everyone keeps doing it. <laughs> gonna be it sunstone sunstone we'll got another pixel is that just a normal that's just a straight up pixel we've only got two left we're really running out of the the time oh whoa we're gonna 100 dollar donation come in from uh from supreme katano who just says uh sup my dude here you go you can't just <laughs> you can't just drop a hundred dollars and just say sup my dude here you go, so casually. <laughs> Thank you so much for the uh, the super generous donation. Sup, my dude? <laughs> that was uh, that was unexpected. <laughs> like normally, like if you get a donation, anything like that, you get like a bit of a you know a bit of a message or like why are you giving me so much money? But just like hey, here you go. Thank you so much, that's really appreciated. Chat isn't working. Our chat seems to be working. As far as I can tell. Yeah, try a refreshing. Oh! No? Oh, for a second I thought I saw it! For a second I thought I saw it. Right, this is last chance. This is a last hope. Everyone joining in. We're trying to get the, the sunstone which is combined with the moonstone to make the celestial stone to make the celestial shell okay that's the uh the chain we're um we're we're trying to go down through so that's what we're doing right now 
the uh, the sunstone is dropped a one out of eight times, or a one eight one out of eight percent chance, I guess, uh, from the uh, the golem. So that's why we've been doing repeated uh, battles uh, against the the golem in the the hope to, to be able to, to get it. And uh, so far, no luck. So far, we uh, haven't got one. We're down to the uh, the final lizard cell. So if I don't get it this time, uh, we're probably going to have to go on the hunt for more lizard cells, which shouldn't be too bad because I haven't explored the, uh, the jungle temple properly in this world yet. And the lizard cells were a big problem when I was back in my 360 world because I'd already got all the ones from the chest. But there should be loads of them in the, the chests all over the place. So uh, at least I am... Um, I'll be able to, to go down through all of the, the, the chests. And I won't need just to spend absolutely ages uh, going up against all of the uh, the different enemies. Right. Please get it. Please get it. Just please get it now so I don't need to do that. I don't think I got it. I got the uh, possessed hatchet. Which is good. Like, that's a good weapon to get. But I've already got one. And I didn't get the, uh, the thing that I really needed. Again, Supreme? Uh, thanks for thanks to you for beating the uh, the final trials in Breath of the Wild. Uh, I did it. Thanks, you gave me so much. Uh, have a good stream. Well, thank you so much. Please, please do not donate uh, any more though. Like it's really, really appreciated. But uh, any more would like it's too much already. But any more would be way too much. So please, please don't donate any more. But well, thank you so much. Uh, thank you as well to to Sage. He says hi, Stamps. Every time someone says your mic is muted, ask who it is. Uh, oh, whose mic that they're talking about? <laughs> good. I love that. I love a good cheesy pun. <laughs> Just say, who's Mike? Right, I'm going to do a... Um, another dump everything in chest here. Because if I sat down and tried to organise this inventory, I would be, uh, be here forever. Uh, go buy gloves, Blitz Gaming says. Are you talking about like in the real world or like in Terraria? Like, is there an item which is just like gloves? It's probably like the would have a more magical name than just gloves, I guess. <laughs> all right, let's empty out all of the stuff that I don't need. Yeah, what about this pixel? What's uh, what's better, savage or ruthless? Can we uh? Can we get votes for uh, for Savage or Ruthless? I think Sa Savage looks a bit better, right? I think we should go for Savage. Savage, 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 Savage. Right, okay. The chat has spoken. Savage it is. Uh, right then, so let's go down to the, um, uh, it doesn't matter about damage, savage is, uh, is better. Okay, right, yeah. I guess damage, it, like, literally just means, like, damage against, like, enemies. <laughs> Which, like, it's a pickaxe, like, who cares? <laughs> uh, let's get this magic mirror out of the way before I accidentally magic mirror back. Oh, yeah, talking about, like, uh, Bliss was talking about, like, real life gloves. So, like, as long as you, um, you don't need to be wearing gloves all the time. Like, so I'm in, uh, in self-isolation. Uh, basically because, I mean, not completely, I guess, because, like, I'm living with Spacey and that, but, like, everyone in the, the UK is meant to be in, like, a lockdown. Um, which basically means you only should leave the, the house if you have to for work and can't work from home. Uh, or if you're going to the, the shop or for any medical needs. So, basically, I'm not leaving the, the house. And then the only time I do leave the house is to, to walk my dog. And then I walk her, come home, wash my hands, so. I'm not required to wear gloves all the time, which is thankful because that would really annoy me. Alright, uh, so that, that's where we're going to. I guess going down this jungle and then just kind of veering to the, the left. I'll just keep checking the, the map to, to get close.
Like, if it was, like, probably any other item, I'd probably be like, meh, this isn't worth it. But I think that for, um, just considering how good it is and how much it's going to help me for the uh, the Old Ones army battle, uh, as well as the uh, the Moon Lord when we go up against that and all the Lunar events, like, it's going to help me out so much. Like, this might seem like a lot of work now, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to really help out in the in the long run. And hey, this uh, this whole stream is about uh, preparing for for battle. Uh, thank you so much to uh, uh, Clarissa. He just says, oh, "Hi, Stampy. Uh, I'm uh, a fan. Thank you so much for the uh, the donation. And thanks for thanks for being a fan. Thanks for for watching the the stream. Oh, let's look in this chest. Do you reckon we're gonna get the uh, the honey thing? It's so weird with a stream because like normally in a video, like I assume everyone's like watched the the whole thing if they're they're watching. But we were after like it's like a honey dispenser thing that apparently spawns in one of these chests and we couldn't find one and I gave up. Please be one in here. No, but I will take all of this stuff just so I can take the chest. So I do like the uh, the look of these chests. Yeah, so we're still kind of on the uh, on the lookout for for one of them. I need to go down to the left here. I'm gonna sneeze. I'm gonna sneeze. I'm gonna sneeze. That's you. That's me. And no, it's not. It's just a sneeze. Before the comment, I can see. I can see the comments before they happen in all these situations. No, it's not. It was just a sneeze. Where is this thing? I mean, I'm not even after this thing, but I'm still annoyed about not finding it. Like, I do I do need to get it eventually. I got that, like, that half... Yeah, there we go. There are all the comments. I got, I got that half-built uh, place still where I need to add all of the, um, the honey furniture. But I do still need it, unless I just give up and then just try and find, like, some other type of furniture. Thank you to, uh, to Jude Page for the, uh, the $2 donation. Hope you're enjoying the, the the stream. I hope you enjoyed my sneeze, which was a good sneeze. If everyone had to rate my sneeze out of 10, how would you rate that sneeze? Bearing in mind, if you did rate it a 10 now, that would be suggesting that a sneeze could never be better. And I do feel like I could do better. So out of 10, how would you rate that sneeze? These are kind of the... Uh, the sort of questions we need uh, we need answers to in the stream. Uh, 14 out of 10, 10 out of 10, 8 out of 10, 8.5. 20,222. Oh, I was slain? What happened? <laughs> I wasn't watching. I couldn't find the antidote. What got me? Oh, I should have, oh, let, let's go, let's go put my, uh, Let's go put my money back in the, uh... Actually, I don't need to magic mirror. I'm already back home, aren't I? Derp, 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 derp. What happened? What happened? I wasn't watching. I was... I was too busy reading everyone rating my sneeze. <laughs> and I wasn't paying attention. And I missed. Oh, how much money did I lose? How much money did I lose? Was that a lot of money? I guess can I go back and get it again? Spike traps? I got killed by spike traps? I can't believe that. Jude Page says 100 out of 10 for my for my sneeze. You like the sneeze. Maybe I should um maybe I should sneeze more in these streams. Do you reckon more people would watch watch my streams if I sneeze more? Is that is that the secret? Everyone's always trying to work out on YouTube like what's the next thing? What's going to be big on YouTube next? Is Minecraft popular? Is Fortnite? Is Roblox? Should I stream that? Do people want to watch VR? What's what's the big thing? No. Turns out, all it takes is a little bit of pepper <laughs> and a big nose, and you'll be in the the new king of YouTube. Yes, yeah, sneezes. I dropped a platinum coin. I dropped a platinum coin. Right. I think if I if I go back there though, I can get it again. Yeah. I think if I go back there, I will be able to recover it. At least I know exactly where it was, because it was right in the uh, the entrance of the uh, the jungle temple. 
I just need to like really keep a um keep an eye out. Uh, are you planning on making a, a Discord server? I am, actually. But then again, I have been for like three months. <laughs> and, and nothing's happened yet, so. Intending to do something and me actually doing it are, uh, are sometimes very different things. Let me run this idea past you because this is still just an idea and it's not set on stone. So, I was thinking, because people keep asking me for it, of turning on the uh, the ability to, like, join um, the channel. Is that the official term for it to be? Oh, because it's like becoming a member of the channel? Is that what it is? So basically, it's like, you. I set an amount, and I think people pay monthly, if they want to, um... For like bonus perks and stuff so i never liked the idea of that because um for one i know i'd never ever ask anyone to join i'd just leave it as an option so probably no one would join but also like i would never want to like say what a lot of people do is they'll be like oh if you become a member there's exclusive videos or exclusive streams you can only watch if you're a member and i've never liked the idea of that because i don't want to be like well if someone has if someone can't afford it, they're losing out. Like, I don't want to do... You know, I want everyone to be able to, to watch. Yeah? But then I had the idea of doing a Discord server. But the problem with Discord servers is that, like, if I promote it, like, if, like, thousands of people join, it's going to end up the same as the, the chat where there's, like, so much talk. It's kind of really hard to have, like, a... Um... Oh, for a second I thought that was the, the thing that I was after. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, there's so many people... That you can't really talk. So what I thought I could do is if I set up the membership thing, whatever the uh, the actual name is, and then did um did a Discord server that had like the public Discord server that everyone could join, but then also a private Discord server which would just be for for members. And so then it would kind of serve two purposes because to do the member thing, you have to be offering. Oh, where's my platinum coin? Where is it? Is it down here somewhere? I don't want to die again because of all these traps. Yeah, so it kind of served two purposes because you, yeah, you... Oh, there we go. I got it. I got it. I got it. So yeah, I you have to... Um, What's this thing? Furnace? I might, I might take that. Oh, oh, no, I'm dying again here. No, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I was looking in a chest. Uh, yeah, because you have to have perks. It means that I... It would now consider the perk, but it would also mean that there wouldn't be like too many people on the discord server because it would only be the members but then i could have like a public one as well like i thought that sounded like a fair enough idea like what do you guys think and then the other thing i could do is uh like you get like badges i think if you're a member uh, and i could create some uh, some new badges uh, as well uh, and by me create i mean uh ollie who does all my artwork could create some badges as well because then it like it doesn't Everyone can see all of the content. No one's going to miss out on a stream or a video. Like, everyone's going get to get to watch all of the same stuff. But then the only thing is, it's like, there's the Discord server, which I could have, like... Because I'm sure, like, half the time, it'd be, like, a one-on-one -on -one chat. You know, like, how many people are going to be on it at the same time? So I could do that as, like, a little bonus thing, just for, like, a bit of a casual chat. Uh, and then also, uh, they'd have the emblems as well. Like, does that sound fair enough? Let's get some, like, yays or nays. Because... Like, it wouldn't negatively affect anything. Like, for, for everything that everyone's getting now anyway, no one misses out on anything. Like, nothing's taken away. Like, for people that don't become a member, don't lose out or have, like, miss anything. Because, like, it's it's stuff that I'd only do with this thing. But, like, the, the only thing it is the sense of, like, oh, I'm not joining that specific Discord. But, like, it's a thing that, like, kind of you weren't in it anyway, so it isn't actually making a difference. Yeah. I don't know. This is me kind of just like thinking aloud. That's kind of what I had as the idea. But I just wasn't sure whether like people would want it or not. What it would just mean is that I can kind of carry on just doing like live streams more. Like so I'm at a weird point in YouTube where like... Like YouTube is like basically just a hobby now. Like it's, it's kind of as a job. But like 
in the way that it's a job is in the fact that people keep watching my old videos. And so that's like the way I make money from YouTube is from people watching my old videos. And so like my, the new stuff that I do, like the streams and that, like I haven't really considered work. I just do it because it's fun. But then uh, when I opened up the donations, like people have been just really nice and donating. And then because of that, it allowed me, you know, I bought a new uh, PC because my old computer wasn't powerful enough to, to live stream. I got my new camera set up. I'm getting the artwork made. Like I bought all of like the, the music and stuff. Like I bought new lights and stuff. So like I invested a bunch of stuff in the live stream because like I wasn't losing money anymore. Like I think probably overall, because I'll be honest, the computer I got was quite expensive um, because it was a Mac. Uh, I think overall I've lost money on it, like at this point. But I think it's kind of starting to get to the point where it will get positive. But if I do, um, if I had the join thing, then I could kind of like in my head count live streaming more as work. And it wouldn't change anything. It would just mean that I can kind of like justify doing it more rather than looking to, to find other work or do something else. So that that's that's my my reason for why I think I would want to do it. That would be like the, uh, the upside, I guess. Uh, for those just joining in the stream now wondering what I'm doing in game, uh, we're in the the lizard temple or the jungle temple, some people call it, uh, and we're we're basically just trying to get all of these lizard cells, uh, just because we want to keep spawning in the the golem uh, until I am able uh, to get the sunstone, uh, which I need to to craft something. So that is why we're here and uh, and what we're doing. Get the uh, the solar tablet frank, uh, fragments. Is the uh, the solar tablet good? I thought I've been pressing this too much. Look, it's all. This is like a brand new controller, basically. It's squeaking. It didn't used to squeak. It didn't used to squeak. Terraria breaks my controllers because of how much I spam like the uh, the right trigger. I guess I should just hold it down. Would be the, <laughs> the smart way to do it. <laughs> All right, let's go grab these fragments then, as everyone's telling me to. It's not the enemies that hurt me here. It's all of the traps everywhere that do loads of damage. The good thing is, though, is I'm getting the uh, all of these cells from the chests. But there's also a, uh, a good chance, well, not a good chance, a slim chance, but a chance that it will be just dropped by all of the enemies. So as I go anyway and just take out all of these enemies... I'm getting, I, I got a chance to get it from all of them anyway. So I got seven. So that would be seven more battles against the, um, against the golem. Do you think that would be enough? I, I've basically explored the whole thing here. So the only other thing I could do hanging around here is just taking out enemies to try and get more. So I think I'm going to say that should almost definitely be enough. So let's, uh, let's give it a, a go. Let's go up against the, uh, the golem again. all this stuff in here. Oh, it's gonna... You know what? I, I don't know if I'm gonna ever sort out these chests. I've made such a mess of them all just because I've been, like, gathering so much stuff all the time. It would take so long to, like, sort out all of those chests. So long! It would drive me crazy. Honestly, that would take, like, to sort out... I've got so many chests now just spread out everywhere, just full of all of this rubbish. Like, it would take hours to sort out all of this stuff. And I'd probably end up like running out of room in my oh what's going on with my my inventory there we go oh no get the get the sword out there we go yeah it takes so long it just probably wouldn't be worth it and like i'd probably end up just filling up all of my chests anyway all right let's get these nimbus clouds and i'm so annoyed that my controller is squeaky this is it this is an elite an elite controller i've had it for like Probably about a month and a half, maybe a bit longer. Actually, no, longer than that, actually. Actually, I've had it for quite a few months. Now I think back to it. I've had it for a little while, but it shouldn't be breaking already. Like, it's not broken. It's still working, but, like, it's, it's something 
Something's got worn down on the uh, on the inside of it. Uh, oh, Molly says uh, yes. Please do it. <laughs> uh, Molly's uh, asked in terms of the uh, the Discord server thing. I think I will do it. Like I, th I think the thing is because like like. For people that say they don't want it, like, it's not going to affect them. Like, nothing, not, I'm not taking any, like, I wouldn't want to, see, the thing is, is you always got to get the balance when doing anything like this between feeling like you're taking something away compared to adding something which wasn't there anyway. And, like, it's not like, oh, I have a Discord server and now you're, like, only accessing it if you give me money. Like, it, like that's not the case. It's just, like, this is a, a possible thing to add in. And adding the money barrier just limits the amount of people that could go, Oh, I got it. Uh, yeah, could just limit the amount of people, which adds a benefit. Like I've always said in these streams, that like the streams that are more fun to do are when there's less people watching. Because when there's less people watching, I can interact more and I can keep up with the, the chat. When there's like, you know, like, you know, I did some Minecraft streams and it was like up to like 7,000 people. And the chat was just like, it's like, oh, let's see what the chat's saying. It's like, I just, I can't read it. It's just like, it's just a, literally a wall of text. But when there's like this many people, like this is quite a nice amount. Like I, I think between a, like, between a thousand to two thousand is like pretty nice, a pretty nice sweet spot. And then as I said, with this Discord, it would be less people which make it more manageable. The annoying thing is, is I only needed one more of these, uh, these lizard cells. I only did, I mean, obviously I didn't know at the time, but I only needed one more to, to get it. Uh, at least I got it. At least I got it. At least I got it. Right then, so. I now need to mix the sunstone with the moonstone. So how did I get the moon? The moonstone has a, a chance to draw. I think I've already got a moonstone. I believe. Yes. There we go. I've already got the moonstone. Okay. <laughs> well, that was... That was easier than the uh, than the sunstone, at least. Whew! Dude, I bet uh, you I could beat you in a Terraria battle. Well, probably. I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> of course you could. <laughs> Especially if you're if you're that confident. Thank you to uh, oh Muck Raindrop Fox is back. Says uh, hey Sampy, it's me again. Uh, thank you for my mum's shout out. You are welcome. Uh, Kitten has uh, given a five dollar donation. Says you're amazing. Love watching you. Uh, you make my day. Make me smile. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Kitten. And uh, uh, Callista says uh, thank you so much for entertaining us throughout this weird time. Uh, I've been watching you since the very beginning, and uh, while I'm almost eighteen now, uh, I still love to to watch. Love from uh, from Canada. Thanks for for continuing to to watch all the way from uh, from Canada. How are things going in Canada? So last I heard. Canada wasn't too bad and the only reason I know that was a uh, I've been watching there's a youtuber who probably most of you have heard of called Linus Tech Tips and uh, it's funny it's because it's because I was getting a, a gaming PC to do VR I started looking up a bunch of like um like stuff on computers and which graphics card to get and stuff and so then I kept getting constantly recommended his videos and started getting into watching him and uh, he's based in Canada and uh, I think up until now, at least, they've stayed open and things hasn't been too bad in Canada. So that's the only reason I know. So hopefully things aren't okay there. But yeah, in terms of giving you entertained during this weird time, like that is why I am going to be streaming way more than I used to. Just because a lot of people at home with a bunch of free time looking for something to do. So uh, yeah, if I can uh, do anything I can just to, to give people a little bit of um, entertainment in whatever way I can, being silly, playing video games, uh, then I will try and do that uh, as much as uh, as I can. So yeah, anyone else from uh, from Canada right now? Canada is so wholesome. Anyone else in Canada? Uh, I am from Canada. How are things going in Canada? Uh, over 3,000 cases in Canada. That is a lot. To be fair though, Taylor, not to like trivialize it, like for the size of Canada, that's probably not too, I mean, that is a lot. But that's probably not too crazy. Because I think there's been more than that in the UK and we're so compared. But I guess the thing with Canada is it's... It's not like a crazy... Like it's it's a low population compared to the amount of land. And I think there's a lot of people very like grouped up together in like certain cities. Like in Vancouver or like Quebec I think and stuff. So 
Um, yeah, stay safe. Uh, right then, so what we're going to do, we're going to add the moonstone to the sunstone to make the celestial stone. And we do that at the uh, the Tinkerer's Workshop. Here it is! Oh, it looks so cool, doesn't it? There we go. And now, I think we want to make that into the celestial shell. So, if I make this uh, celestial shell, it will give me... Hold on to your hats, everyone, because this is a long list. 10% melee damage boost. 10% uh, damage of all types as well. 2% critical strike charge. 1% HP health regeneration. Plus 4 defense. 15% mining speed. Plus 50% minion knockback. Means I cannot drown in water. I can swim in water and move at a uh, regular speed in water. I mean, that's pretty good, isn't it? So, uh, to do that, I need to mix the celestial stone with the moon shell. And, luckily for me, I already have a moon shell. So, uh, I'm not even sure when I got it, but I got it at some point, and luckily I didn't throw it away. So, uh, I think I just do this at the, uh, the Tinkerer's Workshop. No. Moonshell and Celestial Stone at the Tinkerer's Workshop. What? Oh, this isn't a uh, desktop console PC. No, it should. This is on console. What am I missing? Celestial Stone, Moonshell at the Tinkerer's Workshop. Celestial Stone. Oh, Moon Charm! Oh, here we go. Here's a, now I notice it. Everyone's saying, that's a moon charm. No, that's not a moon shell. Oh, it looks so similar. Everyone Google, who doesn't know already, Google moon shell and moon charm and compare them. They look so similar. They look so similar. I don't think I have a moon shell then. Oh... That makes sense. So, to make a moon shell, I need to combine the moon charm with Neptune's shell. God, it keeps get, getting deeper and deeper. Every it keeps going down layers and layers and layers, doesn't it? <laughs> so, for the Neptune shell, I need everyone get your uh, get your pen and paper out. Right, we need. 20 souls of fright, 15 coral, 15 goldfish, 5 shark fins, 5 souls of light, 5 souls of night. Right, got it written down. We now know what we need. Yes, this is Terraria. It's turtles all the way down. <laughs> uh, you craft it only in the, uh, the old gen console? Oh, really? Oh, does it not let me craft it? That's for old gen. Celestial shell is worth every bit of trouble. Yeah, I know. That's the thing. It's so good. It doesn't let me craft it anymore. Right. Let's see. Uh, let's see what it says then. Neptune shell is a hard mode accessory that aids underwater performance. Uh, right. How do we get it? So how do I obtain it now then? Okay, on the desktop, console, and mobile versions, Neptune Shell can only be obtained as a drop. It has a 2% chance to be dropped by a creature from the deep during the solar eclipse event. Okay. Everyone's going, yay, solar eclipse, right. How do we do the uh, solar eclipse then? Solar Eclipse, it occur, uh, oh, it occurs rarely after at least one mechanical boss has been defeated. It has a 5% of chancing. Uh, it's been a really long stream, guys. I don't know if you can hear my voice. <laughs> but it is gradually deteriorating. Uh, it has a 5% chance of occurring upon any particular dawn. Is there any way 
for me to, to do it. Oh, it's also possible to summon using the solar tablet. Is that the thing I was, um, were those the things that I was gathering from the jungle temple? I think, did I just throw them all in here or do I still have them on me? Oh, here they are. Okay. Uh, it can also be possible to summon it using a solar tablet. Okay, so let's make a, uh, a solar tablet then. We go, we're going another layer deeper into the wiki. Uh, oh, I just need eight of, the, eight of these. Okay, I can do that. I can do that. Oh, I can do that. Here's one. There you go. Let's make two. Tell me, let's make three. Let's go mad. We go mad. We make three. Why not? Why not? What are you fighting, Stamps? As a game says, uh, I'm fighting against the Terraria Wiki at the moment. Is what it feels like. <laughs> uh, we're, we're we're working towards going up against the uh, the old ones army. We've been doing a, a whole lot of good progress today. Uh, we've made a, a bunch of good stuff. Um, so now we are trying. Well, I can't remember what we're trying to get. We're trying to get Neptune's. We're trying to get a shell from a big fish during this event. That's what we're trying to, to do. Uh, oh, Callista has replied about my question about uh, how things are going in uh, in Canada. Uh, most of Canada is under cautionary lockdown. Uh, I live in uh, Britain, Colombia, and I know that uh, here we are doing the same things as you are. Uh, just taking safety precautions. Uh, a lot of people are uh, applying for EI. I guess that's um, some sort of like monetary relief. I don't know. I'm not sure what EI is. I'm sorry. Uh, Sage says, I got it bad. I live in New York. Yeah, New York has been really bad, hasn't it? Uh, Ryan Lighthouse says, uh, are you ever going to make your flashlight house better? I don't think I could make it better. I think it's as good as it could possibly ever be. I think it has, uh, it has peaked. <laughs> anyway, let's do the, uh, let's do the solar eclipse then, shall we? For a, um, for a live stream that was meant to be all about preparing for battles. I've done quite a lot of battling. <laughs> Defeated the wall of flesh. Defeated the Golem 95 times. Solar Eclipse. So it's the, uh, was it the Creature of the Deep or whatever it's called? For Neptune Shell. Yeah, Creature from the Deep. That's the, uh, that's the enemy I need to, to try and take out. <laughs> it's funny, all of this battling going on. There's just a little couple ducks swimming down there in the, in the water. So they're, they're, they're what I need to, to go after. Let me uh, get rid of these tablets so I don't accidentally like spawn in another event during this event. It should be really annoying. Uh, this event can actually be a little bit tricky. It's not the hardest one in the world. But it's certainly not the uh, the easiest one either. Let's maybe use the uh, the razor blade a bit. Let's uh, set this up on the uh, the quick select maybe. I guess I won't need the uh, the pick. Oh hello hello. Oh yeah, these guys, these moth guys. <laughs> so food thing so bad. I love that weapon. It's so crazy. <laughs> right, let's set that up there, and then maybe the hatchet here. Uh, did you do the old ones armor yet? Uh, Jessica asked. Nope. That that is what we're in the uh, the progress of. Um, that's what we're we're working towards. game sound by the way it just kind of reminded me of it because i'm just listening to this music and it's so awesome oh there was one did it drop it yeah how's the uh how, how's the game sound just because the uh, the music's really cool game sound uh is fine good good okay 
Volume is nice. <laughs> Says girly games and toys. That's a, that's a good uh, a good description for the other uh, volume. It's nice. Uh, you picked up a weapon. Yeah, I'm just gonna go. Oh, oh, there's a bunch of them there. I think it was a um, what was it? A two percent chance. Oh, I, was, I think I got another one of these yo-yos. So apparently, this Eye of Cthulhu yo-yo. Apparently, it's really good. Apparently, it's the best yo-yo in the game. So I've not really used yo-yos very much, but apparently, it's actually pretty good against this uh, the old ones army event. Apparently, it's actually pretty good in that event. I think I need to practice or use it. So I guess, is it good for like keeping enemies back? Yeah, so let's say if I stay here and they push towards me, I kind of keep knocking them back. So I don't think it does high damage, but it does consistent damage and it keeps them away from me at the, the same time as well, which I guess is pretty good. Uh, no, it's not, uh, no, it's not, but is good with yo-yo bag. Oh, is that like a, a thing I could equip? Yeah, I probably won't really use it. I'm kind of mainly sticking to like melee. I don't really want to like switch to, to being a, a yo-yo class. I don't know what the, <laughs> what's the, uh, the official name. The Terrarian is the best yo-yo. Oh, really? On the, uh, the guide that I was... I thought, okay, maybe... So, uh, the, the guide I was reading was about the, um... About the event. The Old Ones Army event. And it was saying that, like, the best yo-yo is this one. But I think maybe it was probably saying, like, it's the best yo-yo to use in this event. Maybe not, like, oh, it's the, the strongest one or, or whatever. Uh, yo-yo is melee. Oh, really? Is, is yo-yo considered melee? I guess it kind of is. I guess I could use a yo if I want. I could use a yo-yo. I use a yo-yo if I want. You can't tell me not to use a yo-yo. You know the boss of me. If I want to use a yo-yo, I use a yo-yo. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use a yo-yo right now because I want to. There you go. Look, I'm using a yo-yo. <laughs> then I go back to my sword. Um, Callista says, kind of off topic, uh, but are you vegetarian? Because uh, me too, if you are. Uh, I am. Well, I'm actually uh, technically vegan. I was vegetarian for like a few months, but I've been vegan since uh, 2018. And then Blitz Gaming says, uh, hey, did you notice the, uh, the back of the disinfectant bottle? Uh, it fights human coronavirus. The back of a disinfectant bottle? What, like in game or? I'm never sure, Blitz, whether you're talking about like <laughs> in game or like real life. Is that the end of the uh, the solar event then? Did it end just because of time? So I did not get the uh, Neptune shell, but I do have a. Ooh no! Don't go in the crash. I do have a, have two more of these. Oh, is it not letting me do the, uh... So do I need to do it at, like, the start of night? Uh, oh, night ends the eclipse. I guess that makes sense, doesn't it? Because it's the eclipse. Ah, uh, so I guess that I, um... I kind of started it at a bad time, didn't I? I guess I want to start it at, like, the very beginning of, uh, of day. Uh, but if you were to tell me to go to the ocean... Why should I go to the, uh... Why should I go to the ocean? I mean, I wouldn't mind going to the ocean anyway, just to get more of the uh, the palm trees. But like, why why else should I go to the ocean? <laughs> All these chests are ridiculous. <laughs> Uh, creature of the the deep is there? Oh, because creature of the deep just can can they just spawn at the ocean as well? You don't need to go to the ocean. Easier to find deep creature during the eclipse there. 
Ah, that's a, uh, a handy thing to, to know. I mean, I guess sh I probably shouldn't go there now, right, though, because um, we've got, like, a, a whole night first. So what I could do during this night is I could think about preparing my area for where I'm going to be doing these battles. So uh, I think I'm going to make some... Uh, how do I make asphalt again? So I just want like a big flat area. And if I do asphalt, I'll be able to move faster. Uh, stone and gel. And then... I need to use the Blendomatic, which I think I've got placed down. Creature of the deep cannot spawn at ocean, uh, but they get buffed when they're in water. Oh, so does it not make any difference then? You know what? I, I should put the Celestial Stone on for now though, right? It's gonna be better than my obsidian shield, yeah? For the uh, the actual army event, I can probably take off my wings and my lightning boots. At least my lightning boots. I probably don't need to go too fast. Especially if I get the um, the cosmic car key. But this is gonna really boost my, uh, my damage for these events. So I think this does like, it boosts my damage anyway. Where's all my, uh, where's all my gel gone? I gotta have more gel than this, surely. It's probably like in all of the, uh, the many, many chests I have scattered all around my house. I'll have some, uh, some more of it. Let's check these ones down here. There's a little bit more gel. Where's all my gel? I already got like 17. Oh, here we go. 547. There's my my gel. I didn't see. I didn't see the uh, the blendomatic here though. Another another crafting station thing that I need to to do. Keep the shield. Keep the obsidian shield. What? Keep the Obsidian Shield over, like, over what? Alright, I'll put it back instead of the, uh, Celestial Stone for for now, then. Alright, how do I make this Blendomatic? Uh, purchase from the Steampunker. Do I have a Steampunker? Not sure if I got a steampunker. We'll go see. Uh, I don't think I got a steampunker, do I? Right, another layer deep. The steampunker is a hard mode NPC that can be accessed pre-hard mode. She will appear once the player has defeated at least one mechanical boss and has a vacant house for her. Oh, so she should be able to spawn. I already have one. Where is she? Is she in my house? Everyone's saying I already have one. Like, where? Wizard... That's like the nurse, arms dealer. I don't have one. Check the ocean home. I mean, you'd see it. You'd see it like a little face there. I think I just need to. Oh, on my old world. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I had the the blendomatic on my old world.
Uh, I guess I guess I should just finish off the uh, finish off another room then, and then should be able to move in because we're kind of waiting for it to, to be day anyway. I might just uh, give up with the. Um... Uh, no, I don't want to give up with the the honey room. What should I build the uh, the next room out of? Other like fun terraria types, uh, furniture types are there. Uh, hello to Monty. Uh, oh, bone chair, flesh chair, glass, honey, frozen, slime. I've already done slime, haven't I? I did cactus, right? There's already cactus here? Yeah, cactus has been done. Done marble. Did mushroom. Uh, granite is easiest and cooler. So, oh, granite, granite. So what about granite then? Ooh, actually, I could do like a lizard one with the uh, the lizard bricks that I got from down there. That could be cool. Do I have like a? Do I have enough? You already have a blendomatic in your main house. Where? I don't have one here. Like this is my so this is this is my main house, and I think you're thinking of a different world. I think you're thinking of my old world. Like, this is- this is my main house. <laughs> Alright, let's see how much I can- uh, I can build with these. Yeah, because the- the furniture looks really cool for it. So we won't go down yet because it's like just about to start the coming day. God, I have, so, I have so many like wiki windows open. It is ridiculous. Oh, they will boost mob spawn rate. Oh, really? Oh, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't build out of it then. Okay, maybe we're, we'll skip that. But it's just becoming day now anyway. So that will be a problem for a uh, another time. But now, let's do the uh, let's do a solar eclipse. So this is better now then. Because this is going to be like a, a solar eclipse. Actually, let's get way away from all of my, my friends. Because <laughs> this is going to be starting right at like the, the beginning of a, of a day. So that means we're gonna have like a, a much longer one than we uh, than we did last time. Uh, Stampy, get the uh, death sickle. Uh, I already have the uh, the death sickle. Uh, you have a blendomatic, Stampy. It's the the round thing. Oh really? I'm sure when I looked on it here, uh... Uh, I don't, I, I go, I go over look now, I guess. I can do it during the, uh, the event. Maybe I was just being completely blind and couldn't see it. Where? It's not this thing here. I don't think there's one there, is there? No, there's not one there. Okay, I'm not going mad. I'm not going mad. <laughs> right, so it's the uh, the creatures from the deep are the ones that I'm after. It's quite like a um like a, a slow-paced event. This one. 
It's a solidifier. Yeah, I think people are thinking the uh, the solidifier was one. Like, I definitely had one in my old world. But I think I just didn't bother bringing it across. But the, uh, the asphalt would be really useful, though. Okay, gotta be a little bit more careful now. Probably diving in the water of all of those enemies didn't really help out. Uh, get rid of the, uh, the climbing claw, you have the, the wings. Uh, do you reckon I should put the, um, that's where I should put the, uh, celestial shell instead of them? Because I hadn't, like, upgraded all of my, like, equipable stuff in so long. So I knew it'd end up being, uh, being really bad. People are still saying to go to the, uh, the ocean. But then some people said that, like, it doesn't change it. It just makes them tougher. So, what I'll do is I'll, I'll start the journey heading towards the ocean. And then we're, we'll see whether there's, like, loads more spawning there. I wonder if whether it raining helps it, helps it out. like hardly any enemy spawning it's just annoying when you're doing like a whole event just to get like one specific drop from one very specific enemy and you're like take it all the other and you know what? it's good because we are going to be doing like loads more reforging and so events like this are always just great just for getting a bunch of money anyway Where are all the enemies? Is it because I'm like, am I moving too fast? Uh, how valuable is it dodging? Is it worth the, the shell? Yeah, I think that's why I have the shell, is the, the dodging. But I think because it's like a defense event and I'm going to be mainly staying right next to the crystal. Maybe the, the dodging won't be, um, won't be worth it. Uh, thank you to, to Andrew for the uh, the five dollar donation, as well as uh, Toxicity Club, who just says, uh, "Glad you're still uh, playing Terraria." Yeah, this has been like <laughs> this has been like my longest stream ever. To be fair, like I know it looks like I've been streaming for like almost four hours, but there was a break in the middle where like YouTube broke and the stream cut out, but it wouldn't let me cancel it, so it thinks it's one stream. But there's going to be like I don't know how it's going to handle the VOD. Hopefully, it's going to be okay. And, then they won't, and it won't just all, like, mess up. Uh, how long do you plan on streaming for? Uh, oh, look. There's a meteor's crashed down here. Um, I don't know. Like, I, I think I'll probably make this thing. And then I'll, I'll get off. Just because I'm going to have to have my dinner. Give my voice a bit of a break. Oh, here's one. Oh, I didn't drop one. Yeah, so I think once uh, I've made these things, I did hope to get actually a little bit more than I did done today. Like, I hope to get more of the uh, the actual arena build, but that's okay. Like, guys, if there's one thing we have a lot of right now, it's a lot of spare time. <laughs> we can, uh, we, we, there is no time limit for, for me on, uh, on Terraria here right now. So I can keep on making, making my way through at my, uh, my own pace until I've, uh, I've got everything that I need. Oh, another creature from the D. Nope, didn't drop it. So we're after a Neptune shell is the uh, the the drop we're after at the, the moment. Oh, there's the uh, broken hero sword. I don't really need it anymore, but it's always fun to get like the uh, the special rare items 
mainly keeping an eye out for the uh, creatures from the, the deep. So no, they don't even seem to be like the uh, the most common of these enemies. And oh. Oh no, is the chat frozen for me again? Yeah, I think it's frozen. Unless everyone suddenly got really, really quiet. <laughs> I had to have a little chat. It's like, oh, is everyone just gone? Okay, the chat's frozen for me. Hopefully the stream's still working this time. Right, this is my arena where I battle Duke Fish from. Right, hopefully you can all see this. I will try and sort it out while while battling. Okay, oh it's it's back, it's back. Uh, YouTube really needs to get better at their live that YouTube's live streaming stuff is so rubbish. <laughs> I think it was probably working for all of you still then. So I have the chat popped out. And then every um every now and then it just stops working. <laughs> and then if I like get rid of it popped out and then pop it back out again, it starts working again. Good old YouTube. Always on the uh the verge of a breakdown. from the deep. No, sad face. I just think every time I see one of them, I get my hopes up. I don't know if this really made any difference going to like the, the water. Oh my health, oh my health. Oh no, I wasn't keeping an eye on it. Oh, that was scary. That was scary. I was focused too much on reading the chat. Let's uh, let's get back over to the uh, the ocean because I had all the uh, the bonfires here, and it won't make the uh, the biggest difference in the world, but it helped me out a little bit. Oh no! Why is this moth guy showing up now? <laughs> Not now! Not now! Please! Okay, I'm gonna have to do some some. Do oh, this is giving me like Duke Fishron flashbacks, <laughs> dodging it all around here. There's a heart on the floor. Let's grab the heart. They seem to not spawn on the uh, on the platform. They seem to only spawn on the um, uh, on the ground. So I guess kind of backing off here for a little bit kind of works out pretty well. But the thing is, I want to be taking them out like as fast as I can, just to have the other uh, higher chance of getting it. Oh here we go! Oh, now they're coming. Oh, yeah, they're coming across the platform. Yeah, if they all spawn here, it would be nice, because it's like one straight platform, which means all of these, like, flying sword things will be hitting them all. And then I have the bonfires everywhere as well. But they do seem to spawn at least, like, a little bit less here, if not at all. Yeah, they're definitely spawning less here. Let's go... Let's go back inland now. I'm I'm healthy again. Is this it? Is it? Is it become night now? I oh, know there's still some. I think it might be becoming... No, 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 they're still coming. They're still coming. We're all right. We're all right. I thought the uh, the event was ending. Oh, there's loads of them coming here. Oh, creature from the deep? Is that... No, it's a swamp thing, I think. Okay, now we're getting loads of enemies. This is definitely better.
Bro, these were, these are the ones that are tough. Like, most of these enemies are really easy, but then I get too confident that I rush in and I get absolutely destroyed. Uh, after this, check the bottom of your ocean. Oh, okay. Stampy, show your socks. I've already, I've already done the sock showing for today. There's too much of a good sock. And I don't want to, <laughs> don't want to do too much. Do a little a little check that I hadn't accidentally picked one up. So many times like I've, I've I'm trying to get a thing and I pick it up and then I spend absolutely ages still trying to get it and then I don't I don't realise I already had it. Right, I might go back to my platform just for just for safety because I'm getting a little bit weak now. And it's a while till I can use my next potion. Like, none of these enemies matter, it's just the- Oh! Oh, there's a few, like, stuck there. Hi, guys. What's going on under the ocean, then? Oh, is this all the, the stuff that's been dro- Oh, wow. Oh, dear. There's a lot of stuff down there. Oh, dear! Why, why, why am I flying so fast? What was that? I'm gonna like, boost up like crazy. Yes, yeah, so I think that was just a bunch of the, the loot that fell down. Alright, that's it. That's it over now then, I think though. The uh, the music changed. I think it's like officially nighttime now. Just wanna see if there's any any last stragglers before we uh we head back home. Yeah, let's just go back to the uh, the normal enemies. Uh, your wings give you a boost in the water. Oh, it's because it's the uh, the wings I got from Duke Fishron. Ah, that's cool. I uh, I did not know that. Uh, right then, so there's that done then. So I guess we can go back to um back to trying to get a, a house for the um. Whoever the guy was at the steampunk person or someone, the person who wants to, to come and move in. Let make let's move let's make yet another empty my pockets chest <laughs> and throw it down here just for for now. Yeah, so apparently using the lizard bricks will make like more enemies appear and stuff, which I uh, do not want to, to have happen, so... Uh, let's just use something else. What, else do, what, what do we have plenty of? You know, let's just use, let's use wood. Yeah, let's, I want to get this done quickly. We got all of these fancy houses. We got honey houses, cactus houses, crystal houses. Let's use wood, not even like maple wood or palm wood or anything, just wood. You know, wood, wood is fine. Wood is just as effective as all of these other things for being a house with, with furniture in. So I am just going to use wood. I'm gonna use wood, and it's gonna be this is gonna be like the ultimate. Oh, I didn't mean to imagine mirror. It's gonna be like the ultimate bare minimum. It's gonna be wood and torches, and it's gonna be just have exactly what it needs to be the house, but with no no extra frills. Uh, right. 
Good thing is, is everything I need to make, I can just do from here. I don't need to go home. Right, so we need, so it needs one light source, I think. Well, we're at, we go, we go a bit bold, and we add two, two torches in. We go a, a little bit elegant. Uh, we need a door, of course. And I think we need like at least, I think it's just one chair. We need. Then, of course, we need the, the walls in the background as well. And then, like... Yeah, as I said, I think it's just one chair, right? Does it need to be two chairs? I think it just needs to be one chair. One, like, one bit of sitting furniture. So is that, is this considered, is this technically a room? To, to people that know Terraria better than me? Could someone, like, move into, into this? How boring, Gabriel. So that's the point. It's meant to be the most... Look. Because we've got, we got like fantasy, like glowing mushroom houses, like we got the crazy rooms sorted. Like, let's just have like the most bog standard basic room that we could do. So we just need the person to move in to buy the blendermatic from them. To make the, uh, the asphalt blocks. And then uh, we'll use that to make our arena uh, for the, uh, the old ones army. Um, right, so I guess we just need to, to wait for, for them to, to move in. This is going to have to be, like, extended up a little bit. So what I think I might do, because I really didn't mean to, to be streaming for, for this long, and I'm worried I'm just going to, like, lose my voice. So I'm going to have a, a very short break. Uh, I'm going to go grab something busy just to help my throat. Uh, and then uh, I'll come back in as it's about to, to be day. And then I'll do the uh, the final solar tablet, like the solar eclipse. If we get uh, what we need from it, then thumbs up, done. If we get the uh, Neptune's shell, then I'll craft the thing and we'll end the stream there with a success. If we don't get it, then that's okay because it will give me time in between this stream and the next stream to do a bit of preparation. I will be able to, the person would have moved in by then. I can get more of the, uh, the, um, the tablet fragments uh, in order to do more solar events, I can get the uh, the honey thing, the honey dispenser thing, and then in the next stream, uh, we'll hopefully be able to to do the uh, the actual battle. So that's the plan. So I'm gonna go and hide out in my home. I'm gonna leave the uh, the game running, and then when we uh, when we come back, it will be uh, hopefully about to come daytime, and then we'll uh, we'll do the uh, the event. And either way, that will be where we end the the stream there. So if you've been watching for a long time, feel free to. Have a stand up, have a walk around the room, stretch your legs, get yourself a drink, do a few stretches, do a back flip, do a front flip, do a side flip, do a somersault, do whatever you uh, <laughs> you want to do. And we will reconvene here in about five minutes or so. Okay, right, talk to you in a bit.
he's gone for a drink. Um, but like, then it went black. The screen went black. So I did something, and I think I, I went on B right back. And then it's here now, because I just wanted to let you know. But it's fine now, yeah? Is it alright? Did I do... Okay, cool. I'm going to push a button now. Um, no, that, that's me. That's me. That's me bigger. I, um, wait. No, it won't go away. Oh, there we go. Here we go. It's good, isn't it? I'm a streamer. We are back, and oh, it's day, it's day, it's day, it's day, which means we're meant to start the event. Hello, everybody's just joined the stream, wondering why I just ran in screaming that it's day. Basically, we need to do the uh, the solar eclipse event, which, of course, because it's eclipse, it needs to be day because otherwise it wouldn't be an eclipse. Um, and uh, yeah, so we need to try and get the um, Neptune's shell. Which is uh, as a, a rare drop from creatures from the deep. So I just need to try and kill as many. I think it's like 12% chance of dropping from creatures from the deep. So it's... Um, like it's, I feel like I should have had it, but I feel like I've been unlucky. Like, I mean, I mean, I have been unlucky because like I've killed... Um, you know, I've, I've, I've killed enough that I should have had a chance to get it. So... Um, I've been uh, a little bit uh, unlucky, but that's uh, okay. You know what? Standing here might be a good chance because like loads of them fall and get stuck in the water. And then um, let me get my stuff back. Uh, yeah, I can kind of send this down to kill them all. So I can just drop down to grab the loot. Because the thing is, even if um, it isn't the uh, the swamp thing, oh, it's two percent chance. Oh, it's not twelve percent. Oh, okay. Well, that makes a bit more sense, doesn't it? To be fair, that does make <laughs> that does make a little bit more sense. I, I feel less unlucky at least now. <clears throat> yeah. So if you weren't here earlier when I explained, like this is a we're drawing towards the end of the stream. It's been a, a long stream. I'm going to be up quite late today as well. I've actually got um, this evening planned. There's like a, a group of friends who uh, who you might know some of actually. Uh, some of you may have heard of uh, at least uh, Afro Dan. I don't remember Afro Dan from back in the day on my Minecraft videos. Oh uh, yes, yeah, so a group of friends um, who we used to play all of the time uh, back when I was like at the end of school and the start of college. Uh, and since then, everyone's grown up, and uh, we've all got married. Everyone, apart from me, in this group has had kids. <laughs> and so we rarely get a chance to, to play together anymore. Um, but kind of like as a, a silver lying, uh, lining for everything that's going on with the, uh, the virus at the moment, uh, those people have a bunch of free time. Like, those people are off work, those people are at home. 
Uh, so it's kind of a, a good chance for us all to, to meet up. So we're kind of having a uh, a reunion night where we're going to be um, all grouping up and uh, playing the game again. We're going to do it quite late though because they got kids. We're going to wait until their kids are in bed. So um, I don't know if you're interested, but that's what my evening's going to be. But I'm going to join on the, the Skype call. And they're all going to be like, hello. And I'm going to be like, hello. Like I'm going to lose my voice because I screamed into a microphone for four hours straight while playing Terraria looking for a looking for a seashell. <laughs> oh, I really hope I get it. I really hope I get it. I really want to get it. So it's like, it's the difference between like ending the, uh, the stream on like a, a highlight and getting something really awesome and like making the, the thing between being like Oh, it's okay. We'll do it next time. It'll be fine. You know, it's just, it's just a bit of a different tone. <laughs> Actually just got a, a message from a, from one of them playing tonight. Just said, ready for the nostalgia train. So it's literally been like, so we started playing when, um, it's right about when Halo 3 come out, which I think is like, 2007, I think. And then we pretty played, yeah, so it's pretty been about like, um, pretty been about 10 years since we last like really properly got on and played together. But we used to be on like basically every evening, like every single night. <laughs> well, what did I get then? I got a creek from the deep something or other. I wonder if I should be using like a water candle or anything to increase my chances here. I don't know how much of a, of a difference it would make. I don't say play. Of course they do. Adults play. Playing isn't just for kids. It's like I'm playing video games right now. And people play sports. People play all sorts of things. Only boring adults don't play. Gotta be careful. It's, all the times when I get too relaxed is when I end up getting in real big danger. Where are the creatures? I feel like the creatures from the deep are like the rarest thing that spawns, but they're probably not. It's just because I'm looking out for them so much and I notice every one. Like such a specific thing I'm after. It's so annoying that you can't craft them anymore because I, I think I had all of the, the stuff that I needed to um to craft them but i think apparently it's only in like the 3ds version that you can still craft them and everywhere else you got to get them as like a, a random drop and i'd always prefer to craft it right because it's, it's just like like luck to whether i get one now like it's like i'm killing everything that i face but like it's just a really small chance i'm gonna get it so the odds work out roughly about if I kill a hundred of those enemies, I should get two of them. Which would obviously mean that if I kill 50 of the enemies, I should get one of them. And I feel like at this point, I'm probably killed about 50 of them. Of course, the odds are the same with every single one I kill, so it doesn't... Like, my chances of getting win one with each um, next one I take out doesn't go up. But it just makes me feel more positive, I guess. I actually have a Neptune shell, says Kitten Cupcakes. Well, way to rub it in. Way to rub it in. <laughs> the thing is, I, I'm almost, I'm like 90% sure. God, all these percentages make my head hurt. I'm 90% sure that um, I had one back in my old world, but it wasn't something that I, I fought to, to bring across. To be fair, getting these... Uh, those um, solar tablet fragments, whatever, to do this. That was really, really easy, to be fair. So going back to get, like, like loads of them. Ooh, I got a bunch of cool stuff there. Yeah, going back to get loads of them 
to be able to keep doing this event isn't going to be the uh, the hardest thing to do in the, the world. Like, the only problem with this event is because it is daytime only. You've got to wait every single night until you, uh, you go and do it again. The yo-yo is OP. Oh, the one that I just got. The unpleasant one. Uh, what are you making? Oh, I don't even remember. I don't even remember! Oh, it's the, uh... <laughs> I need to mix the shell with a moon charm to make a moonstone. Then I mix the moon and the sunstone? No? No, yeah, oh yeah, no, I need to make a shell, yeah, to make a shell thing. I need to make the celestial stone into a celestial shell. Which just basically buffs loads of like, mainly damage, but like a bunch of my, my stuff. God, I literally forgot even why I wanted this thing yet. Yeah, the celestial, the celestial shell. That's what I, that's what I'm trying to, to work towards. But I need the Neptune shell to make the sh moon shell. So I'm going to mix the shell with a charm. That's the plan. That's what's going on. Okay. <laughs> I confuse, says uh, <laughs> I should, yeah. <laughs> You're not the only one. Terraria never changes, yeah. <laughs> well, it kind of has changed doing live streams, because at least now... Like, there's been so many times I've been making, like, really stupid mistakes. And the chat has uh, has saved me and helped me and told me what to, to do. Like, Terraria hasn't changed, but it's much easier doing it with you guys here. Right, it's still daytime, we still have a chance. We are running out of day. It's so weird because it's like daytime and it's so dark. Obviously it's the uh it's the eclipse. Uh how was Squashy? I think she she made an appearance, didn't she, a second ago? She came down and said that like the screen went black or something, so she tried to reset it but pressed a bunch of wrong buttons. <laughs> like I got my my stream deck here. I don't know how well you'll be able to see with all like these different buttons on. Which is how like I switch the cameras and stuff. Still pretty simple though. But like Squashy's never really uh never really used it. I won't like confirm anything officially here, but like Squashy's been considering doing streaming. So don't uh don't pester her in case she changes her mind or whatever, but she's um she's at least been asking for tech support for how to stream and stuff. It's funny because she helped me out when I was first, because she had done some streaming in the past. She helped uh, help me out. Um, oh, you accidentally ended the stream and had the end screen up. Oh, I did the end screen rather than the BRB screen. Ah, I see. Oh my god, I, I wonder how many people. <laughs> I wonder how many people just left and just thought the stream was over. I did not realize that. Looks like a bunch of people came back though. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, yeah, so she she helped me out when I was starting off streaming because she had done a bit of streaming and I didn't have any clue what I was doing. But now I've now I'm now I'm a seasoned veteran of a of a few months. Then um now I'm going to help her out a little bit. No. I think that's the end of it. Did I get it? I don't see it. I got some uh, some Mothron wings, which look pretty cool and stuff. Got some yo-yos and that. Sadly, no shell. I have a little, a little clear up of the floor. Let me just check that lake, just in case the off chance some drop down. I didn't notice it. No, that would have been. That'd have been too good to be true, wouldn't it? That'd have been too good to be true. Oh, this is still a werewolf around. Okay, no. 
I think we are done, sad face. So we weren't able to get it, but as I said, it's okay because the uh, the soda eclipse is uh, is so easy to to start. All I need is some more of those tablets. So um, yeah, that's it done for uh, for gameplay for today. So uh, between this stream and the next stream, I'll make sure I can do more solar eclipses. I'll try if I can get the uh, the honey dispenser. Uh, I'll build more of the, the houses so more people can move in. Uh, then I should be able to buy the uh, Blendomatic to make the uh, the asphalt. Uh, and then in the next stream, we'll try and make the, the last few things that we need for the, the battle. We'll build the arena and then we'll almost definitely do the battle. So unless something goes wrong or something comes up, with everything that I'll do in between this stream and the, the next stream, the, uh, the Old Ones army battle should be in the, the next stream. And apparently it's really difficult and a lot of people fail on their, their first time. So we'll have to, we'll have to see how it uh, ends up going for me, but um, I want to at least try it. And it's really, oh. <laughs> the, uh, my camera turned off. <laughs> One second. Oh, why is the other camera not working? Why have all my cameras gone? It's so dark. It's so dark. <laughs> Why did the camera turn on? Can I turn the camera back on? I think it might have, to be fair, I think it might have overheated. But what I don't know is why the other camera is not working. Ah, oh, there we go. We have our... We have our backup camera, okay, which is uh, which is still working. So I guess uh, excuse the uh, the worse quality. Um, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, apparently most people fail, but the good thing is is that it's really cheap to to kind of start the event again. So I think I'd rather just do the event, see what it's like, because I've not really looked up much about it, understand how it works and then work out what I need to do, rather than trying to get everything perfect before my first attempt. And it's just more exciting then. It means more battles and stuff going on in the uh, in the stream. Uh, Enchanted Wombat said Stamp use the yo-yo. The yeah, apparently the yo-yo is going to be a really good thing to use in the event that I follow yo-yo. Apparently it's really good. Uh, thank you as well uh, to uh, Technu Fight, uh, as well as Biryu Barker, uh, as well, for the uh, the donations right here at the uh, the end of the, the stream. Um, for those that are just joining, uh, my good camera just died so hopefully that will be up and running for the the next stream and for everyone that did just join in sorry that you missed out on the stream but there'll be a new one soon maybe tomorrow maybe not tomorrow we'll see um but yeah you can uh, come back uh whenever you want and the whole vod of this stream will be up hopefully online there's a chance the vod will be messed up because there was a glitch in the middle of the stream with youtube hopefully it will be able to work that all out and it will compress it uh, and it will be uh, watchable. But yeah, apart from that, that's going to be the end of this stream here. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!